Before men learned how to control fire and put it to work, it was man's greatest enemy. In much the same way, your emotions can be your own greatest enemy. Or under control, your emotions can make you healthier and happier and improve the lives of people around you. I think of fire in connection with emotions because when you become stirred up, when your emotions control your actions, it affects not only yourself, but the people around you. Psychologists find that control of emotions can be gained by understanding the stimulus response pattern. When you have certain experiences, you respond with various emotions. Stimulus response.
What's up, Jeff? How oh, you doing tonight? Cute. That's cute. What's up, Jeff? What's up, Jeff? What you doing? What you doing? Where's Ron? Where's Ron? Ron? Ron's Ron sleeping. Ron's Ron? here. Tell Ron if he ever calls my mom again, Ron, I'm gonna fucking scrape his eyes out with a knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will find your mom, you too. I'll do everything I have to in the world to find her, and I'll fucking scream and yell obscenities at her too. Then I'll fucking find you and Good. beat the fuck out of you, you piece of shit. Oh, no, you ain't gonna do shit. You ain't gonna do That's really tough. You ain't gonna do shit. That's really shit, fucking Jeff. ballsy. You ain't doing shit. You, you find ain't me, doing I'll shit, fucking Jeff. kill you. Yeah, right. Whatever. Was your pizza? Shut up! What are you talking about? We're on the air? Get ready for the funniest damn prank call show there is. That's right, bitches. It's the Macron Show at macronshow.com. And if you don't like this, go and f- yourself. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me who you are? Is who calling? Oh, give me a break. What are you calling about? Who are you anyway? What the hell is this? Who is this? Aren't you having fun? And now, your host. Macron, 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 Macron. You make Hulk angry. You not like Hulk. 
Hulk angry! Hulk smash! Hulk is strong as there is! <laughs> everyone, calm the fuck down, Hulk. Hey everyone, MacronShow.com. It is uh, Thursday, the 9th of May, 2019. Hope I got that right. Thanks to everyone that donated already. Shit, you guys. Thank you. Uh, Rocky and Ralgondo. And uh, someone on PayPal. Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. PayPal.me slash Ron Blackman. Ah, I nearly forgot the days. What days is it? National Lost Sock Memorial Day. National Moscato Day. That's, that's a wine, right? Did I, say, did I say that properly? National Sleepover Day. National Butterscotch Brownie Day. All right, that's great. That's great. Let's see what we got in here tonight. Here we go. Ray, uh, you'll be pleased to know I installed uh, Outlook as per your request. Finally. Finally. All right, now it's just going to take like 10 minutes to open the fucking email. It's too many. There's too many complainers, if anything, right? I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. It just makes me angry. It must be your computer, because it opens for me in like 10 seconds. Not 10 seconds, like 2 seconds. Hulk smash! <laughs> what I think of your outlook. Yeah, it's, uh, it's trying to open the email now. It's going to take a minute. Do you want to throw the first complainer <laughs> in chat for me? Right, you need a new computer. <laughs> yeah, I do. Someone, someone buy me a new computer. That'd be great. Stars in the chat. Hi, Star. Yeah, I'm going to do some complainers for a change, you know. Macronshow.com forward slash donate. Hi, Jeff. Hope you're enjoying the show. I know Jeff doesn't like to miss, miss a minute. <laughs> Shut up. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jeffy. Okay, uh, this this sounds right up your alley. Uh, the first one. Fuck here. you, nigger! You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Playgirl. Right up your alley. Playgirl. All right, brilliant. I like to know when Just my friend Bruce accent. Christopher was in your magazine. Do you have a copy? My phone number. They want. The what the hell do they want? Pictures of their friend. <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't know how this is gonna go, but all right, I'll try. Yeah. Just start talking about this cop. All right. Shit skin, ugly fucking mambo lip nigga. You have reached the voice mailbox of... Oh, you're all upset, eh? <laughs> have we got the new soundboard system ready to go tonight, Ray? Yeah, it's on right now. Recording everything we say. <gasps> oh. Good afternoon, sir. This is Ron calling from Playgirl. Who? Playgirl. Uh, you sent us an email, uh, I think, today. For what? You sent us an email asking about your friend, Bruce. Oh, yeah. You, you were requesting some nude photographs, is that correct? That's why I've been well, informed yeah, by what, 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 security. What date was that? What, what year was that? Oh, yeah. Uh, what what year was that? Well, I, so I think it's kind of irrelevant. Were, were you looking to see your friend naked? Is that right? No, 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 no. Oh, I just yeah. Wait, wait. wait a minute. Wait, I'm, I'm, that I'm hearing multiple answers. <laughs> it's, uh... I no, okay. I said, I sir? wonder what year it was. I just, I'm doing sir, a thing on, sir, on, sir. on the internet on him. Sir, I, I, is yeah. it, are you trying to see your friend Bruce's penis? Is that what's happening here? No, yeah. No, no. Oh, you said, you just said, oh, yeah, though. What? No, I said, I wanted to, I wanted to know what year it was. I'm, I, I was on the internet, and, and there was, he wrote a book, and somebody wrote some bad stuff about him. I was just checking it up to see if it was true. Ah, sure. What, what bad stuff did they write about him? Oh, they just said that he was a pool player, right? He was a famous pool player, and they said he wasn't. He was on this 
magazine and stuff, and I didn't know anything about it. I was just checking it out. Yeah, no, Bruce wasn't a pool player. I'm just... uh Pardon? Christopher Bruce, right? That's his name. Yeah. Mm. No, he wasn't a pool player. Um, he was actually banned from the magazine uh, for for being too gay. Essentially, was the problem. Is that is that why you wanted to see his penis? No, 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 no. I wanted to know what, what year that was. Some, I I knew him. I grew up with him. Right, but you're asking what year it is, so you can see a picture of his penis. Is that? No, correct? no. I oh, yeah. wonder what year the magazine was out on then. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, what? So I know I know you're asking what year the magazine is, but is that because you're gay and you want to see his penis? No, oh, yeah. no, I no. I, I grew up with him. Wait a minute. Just, wait a minute. I, wait a minute. I, wait, a minute. I, wait a minute, sir. I'm hearing multiple answers here. Just just be quiet for a moment. Okay. Do you want to see his penis? No, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, we can't really facilitate that, sir. Okay. You would oh. you would need to look it up yourself. I mean Oh. We can't provide pictures of your friend's penis for your titillation. No, that's, no. that's just I not. I don't want pictures. It's, oh, not, yeah. a, it's, not, it's not appropriate, sir. No, no. Oh yeah. Are you gonna? Are you, no, sir. Are you gonna jerk off over these pictures? Is that what's going no, on? No, yeah, I'm not. No, I said no. Well, which is it? I what did I tell you? I just told you I wanted to know what year the book magazine was published. Yeah, but that's that's so you can see his penis, isn't it, sir? No, no, because I didn't know it was. I didn't know he was in it. Oh, I like, I like, a likely story, sir. A likely story. I know it ain't. No. No, uh, we get this all the time. You know, you perverts oh. calling up here, wanting wanting pictures off. I am not. So you're mistaken. Stop it, sir. You're a pervert. Okay, you need to calm down. Sir, I, I'm going to ask you a <laughs> He's damn it. <laughs> when you send me that I message, I, yeah, I, was about to, I was about to ask him if he was straight. Uh-oh. <laughs> no. Um, all right, I've got the email open now. Hopefully, we won't have any more problems with this. Great. Uh, let's see what's going on here tonight. All right. Sherry's Berries. I called to question the charges on my order. Good enough. I can handle that. They were carbon fees. Carbon tax. That pissed, yeah, that pissed people off. Got you. This is Bill Ramage. I'm sorry I missed your call. Damn it, Bill. This is Bill Ramage. I'm sorry I missed your call. Damn it, Bill. Makes me so angry when they do that, you know. Hulk oh. smash! Hello? Hello, is this Bill? It is. Hi, Bill. Ron calling from Sherry's Berries. Okay. I received an email here about a, a, a query about some charges on your order. Is this the correct person? Yes, it is. Okay, great. Yeah, wh what was the question? Um... My understanding was that it was going to be like thirty-two dollars, right? And uh, because that was what was advertised, and I was focused on the twenty uh, percent discount, and uh, and it wound up being sixty-two dollars. Wound up being um, you know a morning shipment in the morning that I yeah. did not yeah. intend to request. The guy that I was talking to was horrible to understand and I speak another language and I have a good ear and he I mean, I mean there's, there's there's no need to bring race into it so but I think I can explain no, the no, uh, no. charges Hold it. it's um, not race it's about customer service right but uh, I mean you can't you can't make service. those xenophobic remarks though about our colleagues uh, we we don't allow that but anyway let's move on from that nasty business um so I think I can explain the additional charges on the order. Um, I'm not interested in the additional charges. I want my order canceled. Right. Well, we can cancel the order, but we can't refund the carbon tax that's on there. Because that is what you pay for the morning shipping that you requested. I did not request it. Anyway, I've talked to my, in, my 
credit card company, right. and we're going to take care of it on my end. Well, I, I have just, I have actually just spoken to a representative at the credit card company. His name was Jamie, and we have actually put a hold on those funds, so you, so you won't be able to to reclaim them at all. But I can go ahead and process a fifty percent refund for the actual items. Uh, but the the carbon tax that's on there will remain, unfortunately. The carbon tax. Yes. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's a carbon tax. It's for the environment. It's something that we we put onto each order, particularly in in certain areas. You know, unfortunately, that goes to the government, sir, and the government doesn't do refunds. So are you telling me I'm going to pay that and I'm not going to get any berries? Well, you just told me you didn't want the berries. I've just gone ahead I don't and, and cancelled. Yeah, I, I've cancelled the order. So what are you going? You're going to so charge me thirty dollars. You, you'll receive a total of thirty-one seventy-two in the next six weeks. I will do everything in my power <sighs> to make sure that does not happen. Oh, so everything you don't you don't power. want you don't want the refund? I mean, I can stop that from happening very easily. I'll do that right now for you. That's no, no problem. You, you said you'd do everything and, in your power to I'll stop the refund. the refund. But I should not have to pay a dime. It was not what it was. Well, sir, sir, to why do you think you're special and you shouldn't have to pay the carbon tax? I mean, you. You're, the reason I'm special is because of customer service. When you present something. And, f and focus the attention upon something and then shift it to the end uh, and then you get a you, readout. You need to calm then down, you, sir. Will you, you let me finish? You need to calm down, goddammit. I won't be spoken to like that. I will get a supervisor I, if this continues. I, I won't stand for this aggression. I really won't. Then. God damn you. All right, I'll get the supervisor right now. Jesus fucking assholes. Takes one to know one. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Hello there, this is Richard, customer supervisor. Yes, my name is Bill. Hello there, yes, yes, Ron just told me uh, you are querying a charge. Uh, I've been dealing with a lot of these uh, queries recently, so I can I explain no what doubt. the charge is. Oh, do you know what the charge is? Do I know what Sorry. the charge is? Yeah, the carbon tax. I, I don't know what country you're in. I don't know what you're talking about of carbon tax. All I know is right. you're telling me I'm, in I'm, so, I'm in the United States. I'm in the United States of America. And why are you the only company that I've ever dealt with that charges a carbon tax? Would oh, you you'll be getting a lot more companies dealing with it now in the future. Um, but we, we just went ahead and did this. We are part of 11 companies that are doing this in the state at the moment. And it's just basically to be responsible. You know, we, we have to do something about this. So the money will be spent uh, basically on alternative technologies to offset the carbon that we had to add delivering your item. Uh, it stays up there uh, in the atmosphere for 200 years. Uh, and I don't know if you're goodness. aware of that, uh, sir. This is this is yeah. not a a, a ecological uh, political conversation. This is about customer service and misrepresenting oh, right. something. I've been in charge of customer service for a large company, and All right. customer service in this situation. Are you going to keep interrupting me? I didn't interrupt you once. See, that's why he was like with me. He's a fucking asshole. He was like that with me. Tell him. Tell him to get fucked. You see what I'm talking anyway, about? Anyway, sir. Sorry, what you say? Yeah, so is this guy still on the phone? 
Which guy? The guy that just said to get fucked. I didn't hear anything. Do you have your TV on, perhaps? Could be no, the television. I'm not, even, I'm not even in my home. Richard, tell him to kiss my ass as well, the fucking dickhead. It could have been. John. it could have been? It could have been a radio or something like that. Anyway, so you're, you're questioning the charge. I've explained what the charge is for and how it's and completely non-refundable. I'm not getting an item, right? But I'm still being charged. Oh, I can send the item. Well, I can send it out again if you want. I'm going to charge his account again. I'm just going to put some random charges on there. This guy's a fucking dick. Like I can, I can send it out again if you want. It makes no difference, but there will be an additional fee on that. Um, Additional fee on what? Well, every time we deliver something to you, you have to pay the carbon tax. That's the way it works. Yes, Um, but I'm not having anything delivered to me. Enjoy your sixty-nine All right, boxes great. of berries. So we don't. Asshole. So, so we don't need to uh, do any additional charges then. Fantastic, uh, but of course there will be the customer service fee then. Uh, that's oh, just so because of the time you've fee. wasted of ours. You what know, with the name? false order and that sort of thing. So yeah, it's no, only going to be twenty-seven dollars. It is misrepresentation. It was a, a slight so of hand like focused bitch. on something else and getting a discount, and all of a sudden I've got next day shipment, which I don't even want. I don't need. I'm not aware of that. No, Are you no. Um, to this in the background. I, I heard the recording and you it was all there. I mean, I heard what he said. I've I've heard what the the representative said, and he did explain what it very clearly. What is your name, Richard? Richard who? Thompson. I want to make sure I reference you. If anything Absolutely. Could be Absolutely. Richard. I love being referenced. I have so yeah, many I, good and customer I, I feedback. I love to reference people, particularly when I know what customer service should be. Is this dickhead still on the line? So what a unprofessional. fucking little bitch. Listen I to him. I've why never I'm words. not sure why you would say it's unprofessional. I didn't get my uh, we're just being responsible. You listen to this I in the background. Would you rather, I would you rather we just you know, pump the carbon day. dioxide into the atmosphere really and not give a shit about it? I mean, recorded. we have to do something. At least for yeah. being responsible. Richard, what's your last name? Or are you are you I said uh, Thompson. To... Tell him to get fucked. You don't even have to give him your last Thompson. name, Richard. Don't give it to him. He's Thompson. a dick. Thompson. Fuck him. Fuck him. Okay. So yeah, that's the first and last name. Okay, I appreciate that. And so No worries. Uh, frankly, you know, uh, you're gonna do what you're gonna do and I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Yeah, he's gonna whine my car. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna hey, did you just call me a dickhead? Hey, fuck you. Fuck you, sir. Just so you hey, know. Hey, no 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 no, no. fuck you. Unprofessional representative I've ever heard. Get fucked. You to put up get to it? fuck. Means you're not you fucking piece of trash. How dare you speak to me like that? Sir, who are you talking to? I've been nothing but professional with you. I make $15 an hour. I don't need this shit. Hello? Sir? Hello? Hello? Sir? He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> that dick's going to call back. We don't even need to call him. He'll, he'll call no, back. No. He's going to call back to check the number. He couldn't, he couldn't say it was me. I could hear you on the phone. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hear anything. Just ignore you. <laughs> All right, Kathy, bye. I was really hoping he got pissed off about the carbon tax. <laughs> he kind of did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this this person wants their money back from Kathy, bye. I'm guessing we won't be able to provide that. No. no. Good afternoon, stupid. This is Ron calling from Kathy Bai. Uh, you had the wrong number. I'm calling from Kathy Bai about your uh, refund. You sent us an email. Oh, oh okay. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I've just looked into the order. We, we did receive the item. It looks like it was two blouses. Does that sound correct? Yeah, and then a dress. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, they have been returned. 
Um, so the the refund has been placed onto your account. Um, now, oh, okay. because of the shipping and handling, the refund fee and the customer service fee, um, your total well, is actually... Well, let me actually, tell you something. I paid your, for the shipping back. Yes. Um, so we've gone ahead and charged you for that shipping. Um, so Why the total, would you charge me for that shipping? Uh, well, because we, are, we have to then ship it to our second we uh, warehouse in Korea. Um, so okay, that's that's but, what you'll uh, be charged for. Um, so so the, your your total your your current account balance is minus six dollars. Um, so that will that will just be added on to your next order with us. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, you're putting it back on my. I don't want it on my. I want it back on my. Taking off my charge card. Oh no 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 no! You owe us six dollars. For the customer. I owe you six dollars. Yeah, so you're so you're in your How balance. How do I owe you six dollars? Explain be, be, that to me. Because you returned all these items which had been tried on, and they have to be restocked and laundered. Uh, and, they were uh, not tried on. Um, I picked them up and I looked at them and I knew they weren't going to fit me. So I right. put them right back. In I the mean, bag. I'm sorry, we get this all the time, but I've got a note on here under the condition of each item, and it does say there were sweat stains on the dress. On the dress. Yeah. The dress I did. The blouses I never tried on. Yep. There were big sweat stains. Uh, and the blouses, one of the blouses had mustard down the front. Mustard? on. Which, I never eat uh, mustard. Which had to be cleaned. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's not true. Mm. I don't eat mustard. And my I don't have mustard in my house. Hmm. Well, someone... Okay, tell me how that mustard is on the front of that. That's not true. I, I mean, I'm just going by what's on the notes here. I would need to get a supervisor to get any more information. Um... But yeah, and, and on the other blouses, um, there's there's no stains or anything, but it does say they smelled bad. So they've all gone to be laundered. Oh my word, I can't believe this. Me neither. I, okay, how in the world do I owe you $6? Because one, the dress was <coughs> 24 mm -hmm. the one blouse was 14 yep. and one blouse was 19 Yep. Uh, okay. And so you will. You, so so there is a sixty percent restocking fee when you return the item, plus the cost of shipping two of the blouses back to Korea where they were manufactured. Oh, um, that's ridiculous. And the other one was from Australia. Um, so um, but the, that's the shipping not my charges. Problem. I shipped them to where I told I was told to ship them to. Right, I shipped I, them exactly I, to Jimmy, and I was told, okay, the blouse, the dress I did try on, the blouse with mustard on it. I don't know how you can figure it. I don't have well, mustard. The, the the thing is, I mean, did you speak to Jimmy on the phone or did you just email him? I just sent the packages to him. That's what I was told to do. Yeah, because and I would get my full refund because Jimmy, I said, okay, the dress. I mean, Jimmy. I, I mean, this him. this might explain the problem. I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, Jimmy was actually recently let go. Um, he, he was the one that processed your order, and and he was actually let go for trying on the clothes. Uh, and I'm thinking... That's, Maybe he tried on my blouse, but I don't have right, mustard. Right, that's possibly what happened. Um, oh, my God. I, I'm going to need to bring in a supervisor um, and just, just explain the situation to them. Um, can you hold for one moment while I just speak yes, to the supervisor? Uh, yeah, I will. Thank you so much. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Hi, uh, is that Jamie? Hey, Dickhead, what's up? Hi, uh, so I've got a customer on hold right now. She can't hear us, luckily. She's just got the hold music. Um, <laughs> looks like another looks like another Jimmy incident. Um, oh no! Yeah, I mean the ladies. It gets a bit complicated. A lady returned a dress and some blouses. Now she did admit to getting sweat stains all over the dress. Um, right. So we we are going to have to charge for the dress. But it looks like Jimmy may have tried on the, the blouses. Um, there was hot dog. Well, in your opinion, residue, I mean, mustard. How much of a land whale is this person? Are we oh, talking... she's probably a fat bitch. I mean, she did get sweat all over the dress. She admitted to that. Um, so you can yeah, probably... Yeah, but are we talking orca or killer or, you know, what... How, what? What's the one at SeaWorld? What kind is that? 
Um, I don't know. Like that anyway. But anyway, can I patch the yeah. bitch in? She's been on hold for a minute. No, oh, I haven't been I on guess. hold. Um, the bitch is, okay. Bitch is Give me one moment. Today. I'll take her off hold and patch her straight in. Thanks, Jamie. Okay. I did not. I didn't get sweat all over the dress, like you're saying. And also the blouses, I did not even try on. Hello there. This is Jamie Thompson. Hello. This is Bernie Frank, and I returned some clothes that did not fit me at all. A dress yes. I started to try on, and as soon as I realized it wouldn't even fit, I took it right oh, off. Oh, were they too okay. small? Okay, and then the two blouses I never tried on, because I looked, held them up, and they never even looked like I could get them on. And I'm not a fat bitch. And um, I'm sorry, what? I am not a fat bitch, like he said. Well, and, I, w I wouldn't refer to anyone like that, but I don't well, I'll tell you, he did. to me. And you know he did, you heard it. Huh? Uh, yes, do you have your TV on or something? No, Nothing happened here. On. No, come on. Give me that. Give me the truth, the facts. You heard him. He said, this lady tried <laughs> on the dress and got stuff all over it and the blouses. And I never tried on the blouses. The dress, I'm yes. not sure what you're talking about. All I got was a text message and I picked up the phone. So I, I don't know it? what you're on about. Who is this? Anyway, uh, on to the problem. So, um, yeah, you said the clothes were way too small. So um, I'm looking here, and I can see, unfortunately, they were, they were worn. You see, we do ship them in a nitrogen environment, uh, and it came back worn. oxygen. And he so said was clearly the package the was open. I don't eat mustard, and there's not mustard in my house. I never even tried the blouses on. They said that Jimmy tried well, on the Well, the problem with that is, right, this is, this is really simple, right? Uh, we ship the items inside an airproof bag. And basically, we fill that with nitrogen. So we know if it comes back, try the customer, if it's nitrogen, that it wasn't tried on. Uh, unfortunately, in your case, it was full of oxygen, just like the rest of the atmosphere. For so the dress, not the top. we know for a fact that those clothes were tried on. Unfortunately, right, the dress, not the tops. I never even tried the tops on. And I've already checked tops. all three packages, Listen, and they all they were full of oxygen. Mustard all over the tops. I don't eat mustard, so I never tried them on. How in the world can you? She's a liar, this? sir. She's lying. I am not. I don't know. Maybe your husband tried them on. I don't know. No. Uh, my husband did not try them on. My husband is a little... <laughs> You're ignorant. These people... You people are ignorant. I'm, I'm going to You people. You, you people? Yes. What? Yes, because I never... I tried on the dress. Yes. I never Look, tried this on is the very... I, I don't know if you took science class uh, when you were in school. This is really, class, really simple. Our atmosphere is mostly... Passage. Sorry, what was that? I... I did not. I tried on the dress, not the two tops. I did not try on yeah, the tops. Yeah, yeah, but don't we don't care. All we I care about not. is that the package was opened. That's all we care about. So I don't care okay, if you say I didn't try it on. For hygiene reasons, we can't ship it out. I stuck my down into the bag and, and taped it again. And I called them and they told me who to send it to. Jimmy and yeah. uh, Kathy, such and such. One, three, Absolutely. Seven, and if it was still in the protective atmosphere, there will be zero charges applied to your account. But unfortunately, they weren't. So, I mean, we can't sell these on to a customer, can we? That'd be pretty gross. Would you like to receive clothes like that? Are you listening to me? She's you such a liar. She's such a damn liar. I am listening. She's a damn liar. I am listening to every God word you liar. say, but you're not listening to me. This is really fucking simple. We sp we ship the items in a protective atmosphere, just like I don't know, food items, and that proves that nobody has tried them on. If it's a not in the protective atmosphere, we have no guarantee and we can't sell them on to another customer. Your items were all outside of the protective atmosphere. So therefore, well, he tried them on. That's not you my have fault. to pay. That's not my I don't fault, care if you I tried them no on. on any Personally, I don't care. Okay, that makes it's sense. It's still a charge. Okay. 
It's okay. really simple. I don't see why now this is a complex thing. She's such no a refund. bitch. She's such a bitch. You're telling me I get no you're, refund at all. My of money course you get no refund. You're mad. You're lucky we don't charge you. Hey, you're the one that's wrong. <gasps> I did not No, I'm on pretty no sure I'm right. You, sure you, right. Ma'am, you bought the wrong dress. You should I have bought a larger dress for I'm your massive frame. All right. My lawyer you bought the wrong right. dress, stupid. Oh, good luck oh, with that. Oh, not the lawyer now. Because oh. do, you know, do you know that button with the terms and conditions? Yeah, you applied for it. So you're pretty much fucked with that, okay? Okay, so are you, and your language is really ignorant, and so is the other one. How dare you? Go fuck yourself, you, you fat bitch. Get you to talk, fuck. You talk like a... You talk like you shouldn't talk to individuals. When you have <laughs> oh, she got us. What a burn. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, you're. But if a... I get a bill, I'm not paying anything. I'm not paying anything. You don't. You don't have to. It's automatic. You don't have to. You don't have to. It's we'll automatic. Send it to collections. It'll just automatically come out of your bank. You can't stop it. Okay. No, it won't. Either I that, we'll send it to collections, I'm and when the court fees get added onto it, oh. it'll be a sure massive charge. Taken out from you. you shut up. You shut up. And you shut up. You. Shut up. Well, I don't know what kind of company this is, but I'll tell you what. It's a great company. It's, it's the a best profitable com one. It's the best damn company in the world. You shut up. I would say it is not the best. I've, I've never had this problem before. Never with anything. I can't yeah, believe that's well, because you well, that's shop. Not, that's, that's not true you anymore. shop at hobo places. Where do you... Are you you're in California? You're goddamn right I am, yeah. Oh, you're in that place. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we no, go. Here we go. I don't care where you're at. Where you're you a racist. Go. I just want the right thing done. Get to fuck. And you're not doing the right Get thing. Get to fuck. Hang up. We're done All with right. you. All right. How go about uh, for every second you you stay on this line bitching at us, I will apply an additional customer service fee. Okay. If you so we'll start it at $1 right per now, minute. So you. if you want to keep yakking. Go, go ahead. One dollar. I'll tell you what, I will never deal with your One dollar has been charged. I will make sure other people do not too. So yeah, you are I'm the, sure. You are your the five one. Facebook followers will love to hear about it. <laughs> Just go tell your knitting group on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am? Is this stone cunt gone now? She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, we, got, we got some good ones tonight. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Got some real winners here. Holy shit, we're only we're only right at the start as well. Holy fuck. Nice. At least oh, it's not right. a weekend. I know. We right. always answer on the weekdays. Oh brilliant. We have someone complaining about Zeusk, the dating site. <laughs> <laughs> let's hope he's okay. not let's hope he's not got another Thai bride. Yeah, we'll do the exact same thing, record it and you you ask what customer service thing. Okay. Hello? 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 Hello, good afternoon. So this is Ron calling from Zeusk. Sir? Okay. I'm calling from Zeusk. You sent us an email and you requested a callback. Is everything okay? Do you have a carer that looks after you that can help with the phone? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, I'm calling from Zeus Corporate Office. Can I ask, uh, how, how can I help? No, everything is fine. It's okay. Okay, well, uh, okay, I'll just go ahead and charge your account the $30 for this call. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Hello? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What is wrong with you? How many Xanax have you had, sir? What? Huh? What did you say? Sir, what is wrong with you? What What have you taken? Telephone. Dumbass. <laughs> Fucking hell, I can't even bother to call that guy back. What a dick. That was hard work. Yeah, he had this radio on or some shit. Fucking higher than I am. Uh, hello? <laughs> 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 
Ah, uh, shit. All right, let's see here. CA Market. I ordered a jacket for my daughter's birthday. I haven't heard anything. All right, that'll do. I suggest we do the whole trick and insult the daughter. <laughs> that won't upset them at all. To an automatic oh. voice message. Two, two. I'll read the number out. Damn it. In other words, we all know very well that after oh, people free. die, other people are born. And they're all you. Only you can only experience oh. it one at a time. Everybody is I. You all know you are you. And wheresoever beings exist throughout all galaxies, it doesn't make any difference. You are all of them. All right, fuck that one, fuck that one. <laughs> what the fuck? The next one, Ray. The company's called Mingle2. I assume that's a dating site as well. The complaint just says, I'm obviously not real bright. I was unable to leave a phone number. And then it's their phone number. <laughs> this is quite possibly... Quite possibly the first person to call himself not very bright before we even get started. Forwarded to an automated oh. voice messaging system. Three. Good afternoon, sir. This is uh, Ron calling from Mingle2. Yes. We received an email from you here at corporate with a request to give you a call back. I just wondered how I could help. Um, yeah, I don't know how. I, I, like, I thought it was like updating or something. I don't know. And then I ended up buying some package. Like, I like immediately started on, like, I don't want that. That was a total mistake. Sorry, can you repeat that one more time for me? Yes, there is. today I don't know what package it was. I think it, the total was like forty-seven dollars, maybe not a hundred percent. Sorry, did I you say? Said, sorry, did you say forty-seven dollars? I, I want to say that's what I saw later on, right? And and what that's and that's how much you were charged. Is that right? I I don't know. I don't hundred percent know. Okay, can I just confirm your first name? Uh, Matthew. Uh, sorry, did you say Matthew? Correct. M A T two T's. Okay. Um, now I've got down here. Um, so you signed up for our premium package, is that right? See, no, no, I didn't. I didn't want any package. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but you did use the Mingle Two app, is that correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did the, like, there's, like, the $3 beginner one. Right, okay. Yeah, I did that, and then I went and immediately canceled it, so it should just ride three days. Okay, when did you cancel and it, then, though? How soon did you cancel it after signing up? Uh, almost right after it. Uh, well, I mean, how soon is almost? I mean, the same day or the same week? How How long? Like, hours. Like, right, so same day. That's the, yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, right, so, and then, like I said, it came up and said something about a charge today, and I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't want to buy anything. And I've been sick, so I was like half asleep. I kind of... Okay, okay. Uh, I'm just looking at your account now, Matthew. Um, just going through all the information... 
Um, so yeah, you you've signed up for the for the premium package. That's what the uh, the thirty something dollars is now. Uh, ju just so I can confirm that I'm looking at the right system. Um, did you sign up for the gay service? Yeah. No. Right. You, you see, did. I've been getting, you did. I've been getting a bunch of dudes on there too. Uh huh. So, but you no. did you you did sign up for the gay service though, right? I yeah. did not. Okay, I heard yes. No. Um, so I know I don't know where I don't um, know where that yes is coming from. That's not me. I'm sorry. What was that you? Was that you that said yes? No, correct. Correct. Yeah, see, okay. Right there. No, no, that was not me. Okay. Um, and somebody else is can I just clarify? I'm sorry. Are we doing that? Are we going that scanless? There's it's, there's somebody else yelling the answer. That was so. your that was your voice, sir. No, um, no, absolutely not. Well, it sounded like it. I, was... I said no several times. I have not said Y E S uh, okay. at all. But can I, I definitely didn't say. Okay. Okay. Let's let's move on. That's maybe just a glitch on the phone or something. Well, um, Come on, man. That's kind of that's kind of. And did you wow. did you sign up to the premium gay dating service? Yes. Correct. No. Okay, none. great. Right no. So that's what the charge is actually for, is you have confirmed Listen, the... listen, listen. I'm going to say fucking before everything, <sighs> so go ahead and change your computer. We'll see if it says fucking right before. Fuck no. Fucking no, I did not sign up for that. Please, please watch the language, sir. That really isn't no, appropriate. That's... Come on, man. You're being way too scandalous, yeah. man. Come on. I've never seen some shit like that ever. Please watch that's, the language, sir. Shady. Sir, that's this is a... That's a shady business. I never... I've never seen something lowball like that in my whole life. If somebody else is going to yell on the tape, it was your voice. Uh, so I heard. You're going to think that all right, all right. Right. Let's so for clarity. Okay, for clarity, and and bear in mind yeah. this call is recorded. What was Good. that? Was that you saying yes? Yeah. No. Okay. Great. See, so there we are. I confirmed. No. No, so no, 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 no. If it no, was no. you, what what is no, the? I'm, I'm struggling. Why no, is the fine. question? I'm going to find a way to uh, press criminal charges. That's Bullshit. Well, what crime has been committed? You're, you're because you're trying to imposter my voice. Trying to imposter your you, voice. I, I, I'm doing no I such thing. Yes, so. You, I answer, and then you can hear someone else answering. It's your after, voice, sir. That's the, sir. That's the voice you're listening to. Sir, just tell me no, yes or no. Sir, no. yes no. or no. no. Is that... N-O, 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 yes, no. no. Is that, that you? That guess is not me. Is no, that, no, 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 no. No, 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 yeah, no, no. Correct. Yeah, correct. I mean, there, right, no. That's some shady shit. That's cool, though. That's fucking fraud if you fucking charge me, because that's bullshit. You charge me for a bunch Sir, of shit, and then you if you, you, if you swear dudes, at me one more time. You dude's fucking voice on there? Bullshit. That's bullshit. Let's go. Let's fraud it out. That's I'm your voice. Like, that's clearly your voice, up. and you need to watch the I damn language, or I will bullshit. bring a supervisor in on the call. Let's, okay, well then, bring a supervisor, bullshit. because... What you're committing is fraud, and my, I'm going to talk to the credit card company, and I think they're bigger than you guys. So, if you want to play this game with this little recording now, Yeah, but you're not. Bullshit. I mean, they might be, but, wow. you're, but you're not. Wow. No, no, I, wow. You are, that, that, that is absolutely the most shadiest thing I've ever heard of in my entire life. No business on earth does that. You guys brand sir, new Sir, it's that. your voice. That, you that need, you need to calm the hell down. Concept. You need to calm the hell Quit down, sir. Me. No one's frauding you, you I'm idiot. I'm sorry. What is wrong sorry, with you? Usually, usually when somebody sir, sir is just answer one, answer one crime, simple yes, yes or no question for me. Are you retarded? Okay, I'm not yeah, gonna say right. anything. Right. Okay, that explains it. Okay, uh, you should have mentioned right. that at the start of the call. So you are a retard. Yeah. Correct. Right. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. okay. Cool. Yeah. You're so you're so you're uh, prejudiced against. Uh, People, not, a, the, not at all, not at all, I just want to help you. I, I just want to help you because of your retardation. Cool, yeah, yeah. So your company you, called me retarded and made fun of me, uh, and, and because they're, uh, they're not... Uh, bah, 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 bah. What, what do you want, sir? Bullshit. Stop with the language, sir. I didn't say it. Bullshit. Stop man, it, dude. sir. Stop swearing. Uh, Bullshit. So if you swear one more time, I will charge your card for for the service I'm having to provide in listening to this filth. You charge my card Ooh. anything, dude. Right. I'm, I'm charging it right now. Deal. I'm charging it right Ooh. now. I'm charging it right now. 
Uh, That's I'm, unauthorized. I'm, you charge, and I, I'll go ahead and call you already the ticked, You already agreed to the terms and conditions on the site, so you agreed. No, yes, you ticked the box. No, you ticked the box. Times. I can see right here where you ticked the box. Cool, okay, doesn't matter what you I'm, think. Doesn't matter what you think. You're wrong. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, you've been charged. You've been charged fifty dollars no, customer yeah, service fee for the language. Okay, do you want to keep no, it up? Because I can do it again. I'm I can kidding. charge you again. I can charge you again. If you you need to apologize. You, I'm not even speaking. You're putting a a, a, a fake voice. I am not. Mine. I am not. I wouldn't yes, even know are. how to do that. You are That's crazy. That is crazy talk. That is crazy that talk. Is like for real, oh, man. Stop saying bullshit, sir. What? Please. Bullshit. Okay. Sir. I'll have it. My mom. Like you said you're going to get your mom. Bullshit. Is he getting his mom on the phone? That Con might... intenzione de cacci nella bavina putrente. What? Yeah, exactly. So, you, you, right. no, wait, did you just say you'll refund my card? That's awesome. I heard you say that. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and charge Bullshit. you again. This is ridiculous. I'm charging Bull your card. So, yeah, do it again. Do it again. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. All right, Curry, well, well, look, all I need to do, all I need to do, the, let me show you how it works. All I need to do is say, no. sir, do I have your permission to charge the card again? No. No. No, no, no. Yes, correct. Not have Great, thank you. At all. Charged one more time, $50, okay? Want to keep it up? Ha. One more, uh, one more year in prison, you asshole. Go ahead. That's not how do it, it works. I don't, I don't think that's how it works. I got... Your MasterCard is going to be on my side, you asshole. They see $800 worth of charges comes from some bullshit European country. They can't know how to do business right. I think I'm going to win, asshole. Keep I don't think it. you're going to win Keep anything. Going. Keep going. Sir, do it again. Sir, you need, you need to calm the hell down, all right? You're getting hysterical. Was, you're embarrassing listen, yourself, one sir. More, listen, I've uh, been calm from the beginning <laughs> until you started to commit fraud. I didn't commit any fraud, right? But I am charging your card one more time because of the, the swearing. Charged fifty dollars. No. Do you want to go another fifty? You are not authorized to do anything. Doesn't matter if we're authorized or not. You take ticked that. the terms and conditions. It's irrelevant. I okay. I just bullshit. I know. I could take that away. Time I want. Where do you live, bro? Uh, California, Wait, sir. Cal California, sir. No, I live in a nice neighborhood, unlike you. Okay. Where do you live, bro? California. I already said that once. You're clearly not listening. See, this is your whole problem: is you didn't listen when we gave you the terms and conditions. You didn't so listen I'm while you speaking. you signed so up to the premium. The you signed up and to the premium gay dating site, and in doing so, no, you accepted all police. the charges. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Well, I need some information from you. Are you going to call the police? All right, call them while I'm on the phone. Yeah. That'd be great. No, I'll talk. I'll talk to them. No problem. Yeah, I'm going to fucking file a police report. I'll oh, call them. No, 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 I'll call them now. Call them now. Three-way them in. I'll stay on the line. I'm, I won't hang up. Stop swearing at me. No, no, no. That's not how it works here. They're going to come to me, bro. So I think you're hyperventilating. Do you, have a, do you have access to a brown paper bag? I legit think you're hyperventilating no, I don't need a brown paper right now. Bag. I'm fucking... I'm disabled. I'm a, have, have, have you done any drugs no, today, sir? Not, have, you, have you done any narcotics? Anything that may... may have... Sir? <laughs> sir? Oh, he's there. Hey, I need, I need your information, dude. Uh, okay, yeah, no problem. Where, do you have a pen? How do you want me to give it to you? Yeah, I'm ready. What? I want you to move your lips and give it to me. What do you want, stupid? What do you want? Your name. All right. Did you have a pen? Well, of course. I'm waiting for you to say it. Okay. Right okay. Uh, first name is get. Second name is fucked. Did you get that? Uh-huh. You got that mm -hmm. down, buddy? You wrote that down, did you? Take a good long I stare did, I did. at I it. I charged you for a fifty dollar uh, uh, service fee as well. Go ahead. All right, no, no, that's it. I'm charging you one more time. I don't care. I'm doing it right now. Hold on. Oh uh, well, I just charged you. Fifty dollar so customer said, service yeah, fee. Two teeth. Okay. Did you approve that fee? That charge, sir? Is that okay? No. Mm -mm -mm. Sir, you're being a real goof. All right, you need to calm down. I'm I'm calm, dog. I, I'm trying to get the information. What's your What's your billing address? Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to give you that, sir. I feel threatened by your behavior. And if he doesn't stop, I, w uh, I will uh, charge no you again. Business, no, no rightful business would not give me a, a mailing address. It's all on the app. It's uh, all on the app. There's an email address. There's an email address. We don't have a mailing address. This isn't the 70s. Um, actually, every 
business on earth has an actual mailing address. Not necessarily. Um, no, we're an internet business. Yeah, stupid. Yeah, just, you don't. You just don't understand how it works. You don't understand how it works. You're an idiot. Okay. Just, just the the profit. Uh, I'm educated, so you fucking suck it. And wait, yet wait, you wait, can't uh, find a man. Who would have thought? You're right, bro. Oh my god. Hey, are you gonna give me an email, or are you gonna keep talking? Uh, you keep rubbing your your dog. Man? Every minute that goes by, I'm gonna charge you another ten dollars for keeping me on the phone. So you may as well hang up Please. at this point. I, oh God, I hope that fucking I hope that number is astronomical. Because the more money you charge me, the more years you do in prison. So mm -hmm. go ahead, dog. I know ten dollars. Where I just got out of? Prison. There we go. Ten dollars. Ah, sweet. I thought it was fifty. No, I said ten dollars a minute. Again, you don't pay attention, Matthew. This is your whole problem. No, All but right. I mean you keep changing. This is why. This is why you can't find a partner. You know, you don't listen. Can we? Can we? Can we charge me seventeen seventy-five? No. Uh. All right. Um, if I have three testicles, are you going to charge me more for that? Yeah, you don't even I have mean, two testicles, put, do you? You know when I put them on your forehead. Okay. All right, buddy. You sell down there. Don't make me have to get the supervisor in here. If you get a supervisor, dude, I want a supervisor. All right. Go to the next level. Oh no, no, no! You. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. You didn't get permission to record my voice. I'm getting the manager. You wait right there. Fucking dickhead. How do I know? We should record your voice. Your call yeah. is very important to us. Please hold. <laughs> So Please the hold. more money you charge me, the more you charge Please me. Please hold. They ain't charging me. This We're is sorry. Please hang up. Please hold. I just want to play with Please hold. Yeah, he ain't got my turn. Oh, is that Jamie? Oh yeah, what's up? Hi Jamie, I've got a real live wire on hold on line three. He's just listening to the hold music now, so he can't hear us. Um, real piece of shit. Right, what's he, it this time? Oh, usual story. He signed up to the premium gay service and now he wants his money back. He's probably got no job or something and he's been a real mm, piece of shit please. on the phone. I have charged him a few times uh, for the customer service. We've been on the phone with this guy for like 15 minutes now. Ah, did he um, authorize you? Oh yes, yeah, I got it all recorded. Um, Great. Great. But yeah, he seems to be on drugs or something. But anyway, he's a little bitch. I'm going to patch him in now because he's been on hold for a minute. Sure. Thank sure, no worries. Thanks, Jamie. Yeah, thank you. Please hold. Hey, sir, this is Jamie. How can I help you? Hello? Um, no, you can give me your name, like full name, and uh, the other guy's yeah. name. I, I need, yeah, uh, my name uh, is like Jamie Thompson. Things from your business because I'm gonna go ahead and file a police report against you. So if I can just get that information, then I'll be on my way. Yeah, okay. My information is Jamie Thompson, first name, last name, and Ron is Ron Blackman. O R O N B L A C K E M. Simple name, thank you. Gotcha. No worries. And what? What? Else? Okay, so where are you located? What's your headquarters at? Well, we currently we're we're not we're not it's we do branch offices, um. So we're not actually we don't have a central office. So we're all around the world. Well, yeah, but you would have a, a central location where you pay taxes. Oh yeah, yeah. We we do have a. It just does the hate. Probably offshore, Bermuda or something. No, no, it's in the United States. Um, let me pull that up for you. Okay. Bitch. Let me see. It's in our CRM system. I don't actually use this much. Fucking um, beaner. Oh, you guys use CRM? Uh, yeah, I used the LBT back in the day, so I know what you're talking about. Cool. Yeah, we use Dynamics. It's a piece of shit, but it's free. Right, and it's just weird how you had a clip your testicles to it. I never understood that. Huh? Exactly, right. It's just confusing as hell. I, it, that's what I thought. I told you he was a fucking dickhead. 
Why? Because I'm better at your own game? Fucking beginners. Better at being a fucking dirty Sir, Mexican piece of shit. With? Fucking Mexican. Oh, no, I'm, I'm talking to somebody else. I was just waiting for you to get your information. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's not my voice on your recording. Anyway, I have the address if you want it. It's in Florida. Uh, Dirty yeah, fucking go. beaner piece of shit. Be yeah, great. So it's 3131 Northwest 13th Street, Gainesville, Florida. And I have the zip code for you. It's 32609. Okay, fantastic. Um, let me think. Is there anything else? And you're welcome anytime there, sir. We're, we're a very welcoming organization. Well, yeah, absolutely. You guys, you, your buddy right over there, he was real friendly. Especially when he let me fuck his Exactly. Mom. Right. Shut the fuck up, Cypress yeah. Hill. Yeah. Because the more money you charge me, the more you charge me. What? What was that, that sir? That doesn't even make any sense, sir. Hey, hold up. Uh, Can you say that I again? Holy grail. The Holy Grail. Guys, the more money you what? charge me, the okay. more you charge me. What? Are you okay, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't understand what that means. I'm sorry. I know. Yes, I know. I was just kind of. I was just jizzing on your dad's back. nose. So it's kind of when it was coming out, I stuttered. Bullshit. What? <gasps> what do you mean, sir? You're, are you under the influence of any kind of drug? Yeah, correct. Sir. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, that's I'm probably what the issue on... is. Uh, sir, please. are you a homosexual? Yeah, correct. Sir. Uh, just oh, sometimes. Okay. Well, well, at least we have the right location then. Okay. Um, yeah. What, yeah. Kind of, what kind of uh, random sound generator do you use? That's an artificial intelligence. Bullshit. Oh, it's that. Uh, it's IBM then. Be, be the just yeah. the more yeah. money you charge me the more you charge me <laughs> what was that i i can't understand what you're saying sir I, oh i didn't say i didn't i didn't say anything i was no you said something great. about money because the more money you charge me the more you charge me yeah that's how math's worth sir it's addition so yeah, the more money we charge you, the more money uh, we, we have, charge you. We have other customers to call. Can you fuck off now, please? Yeah, I'm going to have to... No, no, like, we've already got... Go we've on, already fuck got, off. I think on this one, it's a $1,400 uh, charge. So, I mean... Okay. It, 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 we're going to yeah, have I mean, to cancel it. All right, all right, all right. Fuckity bye, dick lips. There we go. Bye, asshole. Sorry, I was really fucking bored of <laughs> <laughs> That was a nice like soundbite. The, the more money you charge me. The more me. money you charge me. The more you charge me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, brilliant. Ah, fuck. All these people putting order numbers. All right, here we go. Consumer cellular. I bought a phone at oh, wait, Target. Wait, I'm going to save that. Who was that idiot again? Uh, oh, that was uh, Mingle 2. Yeah, he, he definitely needs to go in the phone book for a while. Okay, cool. Uh, this person had a problem with the volume on their phone, so I'm going to turn my microphone right down when I start talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, he didn't even yeah, recognize his voice, the dick. Uh, thanks to Cody for the donation. PayPal.me slash Ron Blackman support the cause. Uh, Macronshow.com forward will slash. Be spent better than the star scissors on money. Hello. Oh, good afternoon, sir. This is uh, Ron calling from uh, Consumer Cellular. Yes. I uh, received a message here at corporate to give you a call. Just wondered how I can help. Well, no. You see, what I did is I, I filed a complaint last night. Mm hmm. And they wanted to know my telephone number, yes. so I put it on there. Okay, and and is everything now completely resolved? Yes. Well, as far as I know, here's the Oh, great. The okay. They, 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 um, they spent about yes. 18 hours getting my phone activated. Yes. And everything's that's, fine that's now, is problem. that correct? 
Yes. Everything is working. Okay. Now, I have a note yes. on here that says you wish to cancel the account. Is that correct? Yes. No. I okay. Didn't. Okay. Who in the hell says that? Uh, you, I'm what, sorry. What, you what just. What telephone number are you? You just confirmed it. You so you about? just confirmed it for me. Do you want to cancel the account? Yes. Where did you get that idea? I didn't say that. I just heard you say yes. Was that not you? Yes. Okay. You asked me, do I did, did I want to cancel my account? And I said no. You said yes. And I asked you, where did you get that idea? So, so let's be clear. Do you want to cancel the account? Yes. No. Okay. Well, there we go. You said yes. I mean, what? What? I said no. God darn it! I said no. Settle down, sir. I heard What's you. What's wrong with you? Don't you? Don't hey. you hear correctly? Uh, sir, I heard you say yes. Was that not you saying yes? No, I did never say yes. Never, never. Sir, if you said yes, say it for me three times. Yes. I did not. I said N-O. Yes. N-O. Yes. And again? Yes. N-O. I can hear you saying yes, sir. I'm getting two answers here. This is really weird. Do, do you speak English? Let me talk to somebody who speaks English. Sir, I'm originally from England. That's very insulting. We invented the language. Well, I'm sure you did. But I did not say yes, ever. I said N-O, the word no. Well, okay. Right. For the purposes of the recording, because this call is recorded, do you I wish... I don't care if it's recorded. Okay, sir, just be quiet for a minute, please. Did you want to cancel the service? Yes. No. Okay, there we go. So you do want to cancel the service. Thank you. Glad no, I said no off the sixth time. If you cancel the service, I'll file a complaint with the state of Washington. I, I've already started canceling it, though. I've already started the procedure. It's, it's due for... You cannot cancel the god darn thing. I said no. Don't you understand English? N-O. How dare you be so rude, sir? We invented the language. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put a block on here. I don't care, but you, you, sure, you, 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 apparently, you apparently don't understand what I'm saying. I heard you say yes, sir. Is your hearing okay? Because I you said yes. I never did say yes. I want you to play back that tape. It says no, N-O. Oh, I can play back the tape, all right. I'll have to get a supervisor to authorize that, though. Um, yeah, let me talk to your supervisor. I want to talk to a supervisor. Oh, okay. You want to talk to the supervisor, do you? Um, right now. Let me see who's available. Just looking on the computer, see if I've got a supervisor free. Uh, okay. I'm just going to put you on a brief hold and then I'm going to patch in the supervisor. One moment, sir. God damn fucking asshole. You're the asshole. I heard you say that. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. We're sorry. Your service has been temporarily disconnected. But I didn't say yes. Your service has been disconnected. Please hold. Your service has been disconnected. Please hold. Your service has been disconnected. Please hold. Hello, Jamie Thompson, Supervisor. Where are you located? Are you located in, 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 in the United States? Of course. All right. Uh, I've you're, you're been here all my life. You're, okay, okay. Here, here's what I'm going to say. The man called and asked. I wrote, a, I wrote a, 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 a comment last night to customer service complaining about the problem I had getting my system reactivated. I bought a new microchip, and it, and it, it took all day to get the thing activated. And I, I wrote, okay. a, I wrote a, a, a memo. I wrote a memo to customer service saying, uh, saying I, I, I want to activate it. So I got it this morning. It was activated. I didn't say I wanted to cancel the service. And that man from Britain said several times, I heard you distinctly <sighs> say you wanted to cancel. I did not. Oh, right. So you're saying you didn't. Oh, let me see here. It's very confusing. Um, let me see here. So you're saying that uh, you didn't say you wanted to cancel the service. Then. I do not want to cancel the service. No, I do not. 
Oh, so you don't want to cancel the I service. I did say yes. You didn't and say also, yes? When he, be, be, when he was signing off to get the supervisor, I heard him distinctly say I was an effing asshole. I did say yes. Sorry. So, did you say you want to cancel the service? I did say yes. No. Oh, so I you do. Okay, no, no. great. Seven great. times. So I've... And oh. I've cancelled that now, sir. Um, so it, it it's cancelled now. It'll take some time to come into effect. Uh, but yeah, um, I have, that's cancelled. I have a question. I have a question. Do you hear this telephone yeah. correctly? Why don't you do me a favor? Call back on my landline, will you please? Give me a second. I can just turn this. All these calls are recorded. I can just turn it around and play it back. Give me a second. Sure, do that. There we go. Okay, so I have it here. I did say yes. Now that sounds to me like you did say yes to cancelling the book. service. I did, not, I did not say yes. Well, it says there that you did say yes. Listen. I did say yes. Say, I did never say that. I said no, 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 I do not. It's not up for a debate, sir. Listen to what you said. I did say yes. I did say yes. Play it back so I can I mean, hear it. it. It's right here. Uh, let me play it back. I did, I did not hear it. I did not hear it. Okay, let me play it again. I did say yes. There you go. I said to the man, I did not say yes. I no, said it, it says here. I did say yes. So it says that you did say yes. And because of that, I've gone and canceled the account. So I don't think that's a good idea. That is not a good idea. Now, well, the problem with Apparently, that is, um, like, I can go ahead and reactivate it now, but there's an additional fee for that. I'm because you got the early the termination fee before. I do not. Hey, listen, I have been with the company quite a few years, and I did not want to cancel the account. I never did say I wanted to cancel. Never. Well, the problem with that claim is that all these calls are recorded. This is a recorded line. Everything gets recorded. You what I'm saying right now is recorded. I've gone back on the tape, and I heard this. Run the, I did say yes. Back and I want to hear, I want to hear a, uh, what I heard was a garbled transmission. I did not hear the word. It's very clear here. Head. It's very clear. I'll, I'll play it again. Yes, I did say yes. Do, 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 hey, do me a favor. It, it's garbled yeah. in this telephone. I want you to call me on my tel my landline. Would you do that, please, so I can hear it? Let me get he a would, pen uh, here. I'll sir, get your number. He would have to call us back on this number. That would be the easiest. Oh, right, yeah. What is it? What it's is on, the phone so, number you want me to it's on, call? It's on your caller ID, sir. It's the one on your caller ID, okay? The telephone number, my caller ID. Yes, call us back. The one on the, on the, yep. on the cell phone. Yes, call us back on the I landline. Talk, I, I, I do not want to talk on the cell phone. I want to talk on my landline. So dial the number from the landline, stupid. Why did you say that? Because you asked a really dumb question. To my be God. Fair, sir, you know he doesn't make you a are, very compelling argument. I'm an argument. educated person. Obviously, you are not. You're uneducated. Well, I know how to dial a fucking phone. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, sir, that is a really valid point he has. Come if on, Mr. Want, Mr. No. Mr. 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 Shut up. Listen, Mr. Education. Mr. Take Mr. the number that's on the cell phone and type it into the landline. Derpa, derpa, der. Do I need to draw you a diagram? Huh. <sighs> Okay, Professor, can you handle that? Are we good? So. I can't deal with much more of these people tonight. Uh oh, I think I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> I did say yes. <laughs> I did say yes. That was brilliant. <laughs> I was gonna. So if he calls back, right, say that I'm a recording and, and just have him say answer yes to everything, and I'll just be like. Sir, did you want to cancel your phone account? Yes. 
Yeah. Right, there you go. It's very clear, sir. No, oh, what a dick. Honestly, what an asshole. Yeah, they don't seem to like this. Alright, let's do more. God, we've got, done a lot of pranks for like one hour. That's crazy. Crazy shit. Alright. Uh, more. Always more. PayPal.me forward slash Ron Blackman if you're having a good time. GoFundMe.com slash PrankCallStation. MacronShow.com slash Donate. It's all there. Hand over some schmeckles, people, and get a shout out and all that good stuff. Uh, right, that's a As I said code. before, your money is better off spent here than with shares. Yep. We promise not to embezzle your money and waste it. That's right. It's all going towards keeping the new studio going. Massage MV. Oh, I know what we can do. We can do that entire prank call over like 15 times. Just for <laughs> no reason. Just play it over and over. Yeah, oh, yeah, we yeah. could do that. Or just do it over and over. I just, like that's just, a whole show. Just go. Is anyone off. getting that joke? No. Okay. I get it. I get it. Mm. I purchased four e girly cards for massage envy and made an error on two of them. Need to edit the email addresses. Nope. No, we can't have you doing that for fraud reasons. And there'll be a charge just for asking. Macronshow.com slash donate. As Brent just pointed out. We have about 130 people right now, including Mixler, eh? How do you feel about that? Uh, I don't care. Bit. Hulk smash! Five, eight, seven, three, zero, whoa, two, whoa. Four, four. Fucking... <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, I hate skip. people as well. Oh, that was too quick as well. I'll skip that one. Uh, there's so many more. Uh, TriStar Products. I purchased one of one of your flexible hoses. When I attached it to my outdoor faucet <laughs> and turned it on today, it sprung a major leak. So this person has a leaky hose. No, I know uh, where to go with there. It wasn't a flexible hose. It was a flexible hose. <laughs> I'll say it was an inflexible hose, and that's why it's leaking. <laughs> you have to keep it straight. <laughs> That's where they've gone wrong. Thanks for the link down south, macronshow.com slash donate. PayPal.me forward slash Ron Blackman. Has been forwarded to an automated you voice make message. Hulk angry. You not like Hulk angry. Calm down, Hulk. my vape flavor these days uh wick liquor carnival has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system four one shut up wick liquor carnival it's like uh donuts i guess it's like sugary donuts it's nice uh jack in the box the manager made my whole order incorrectly oh bop a dope a Good afternoon, sir. This is Ron calling from the corporate office with Jack in the Box. Who? Jack in the Box. I'm responding to your email. Yes, how are you doing? Yes, Mr. Johnson. I received an email to give you a call. I just wanted to reach out and see if I can help with anything. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I was in one of your office, uh, one of your establishments yesterday. Mm hmm And... I ain't never had, uh, how you want to say, an uh, experience like that before. Matter of fact, I ended up leaving that establishment and going to another one and things like that. And okay, I was sir? treated 
if you could if you could shut up for a moment, it's quite hard to hear you with the TV on. Could you go ahead and turn that I down know, for me? Hold, hold, hold on. Thank you. Yeah, I'm in. Stupid. I'm in the office. Thing it, like that. No. Damn idiot. Oh, that Thank you. Idiot. Thank you. Hey, oh, you you got the remote? Yeah. Stupid turn, asshole. Yeah, turn turn the TV down. It's this Jack in the Box from calling from yesterday. Stupid asshole. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. That's much better now. I can clearly hear you. So, I'm sorry, you were saying what happened? Okay, yeah. I went into one of your, your stores yesterday, and basically, just, we placed the order and things like that, and basically, everything just wasn't right. Everything, one thing that, everything wasn't right. It wasn't. It wasn't. The food was cold. First, I had ordered, I, I my food, I ordered the burgers. The burger. With, oh, the burger. Uh, yep, yep. Yeah, I had the burgers with uh, lettuce, tomatoes, and pickles. Great. Add, Delicious. And add on. Mm. Add on. Okay. So mm -hmm. when, when I got it, it mm -hmm. didn't have no lettuce. It, well, it didn't have didn't have the lettuce, uh, nor, the, nor the pickles on it. So I was sending that back. Then... And then, then on the other burgers we had. Sorry, ordered. could you oh. could could you ask that lady in the background to shut up, please? It's really hard to sort of hear when there are two oh, people hold talking. On. You, for one thing, you need to pay attention to me. Well, you, I'm trying. You're too busy I'm, paying I'm, attention to I'm everything to in my hey, background. Wrong. I hear, I hear yes, sir. everything Pizza's in here. your background. Oh, and fantastic. Some of this dick oh, out, okay? Hold on. Thank you. You got three or four people on the phone. With sir, me right sir, now, sir, and none of y'all identified y'all Sir, shut See, up, shut so up for a minute. You're playing a game. Sir, shut up when I'm talking. Thank you. you All right. Telling to shut up. So you need to do me oh, the you... respect that a man like me is due from a man like you. Okay. Oh, you, oh, now did calm you down. Tell me to shut up. Yes, I did, sir. Okay. How you? Who? Who are you? If I told you to shut up. Well, that'd be outrageous. That'll be outrageous. You tell me why would that be outrageous for me to tell you to shut up? Because I'm not being. But you can I'm tell not, me to shut up. Because I'm not. Who being are a, you? Because I'm not being Who a stupid ignorant. Because I'm not being a stupid up. ignorant like you are. Okay. You're not being stupid and ignorant. No, like I'm not. Me. No, no you are. That's Fuck correct. you. Correct. Fuck you. How dare you? You. 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 Are, you, are you. Sir. Kiss my. Kiss, kiss. And guess yes. what? Only thing I need you to do is give me my money back. No, 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 I, no, no. I, 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 you're I'm not, you're not, with y'all. You're not hey, getting you're a refund. You're with this dickhead. The pizza's ready. Yeah, I'm coming for the pizza now. Um, yeah, you're, you're not getting a refund, and you're banned from Jack in the Box, all right? You're not welcome here anymore. I don't do what? I don't do what? I said you're banned from the Jack in the Box. You're not welcome anymore. I'm banned? Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Just mail me my money. No. I don't no, have no, to no, no. go back you're not to getting, you. You're not getting your money back. You can get to fuck. I can get the, the what? The fuck? <laughs> the what? <laughs> what you say? Yeah. Forrest Gump, that's what I said. Is there anything else I can help you with anyway? You ain't help me with nothing. Uh, and what is your name? No, I'm not going to tell you. No, I'm not going to tell oh, you. Oh, you're now. not going to tell me. No. You're not going to tell me. No. Nope. Sorry. Sorry. Ron, yeah, get the stick sorry, head off the right. line. Yeah, save me you're some of that pizza, sorry, guys. Right. Save me a beer as well, okay? okay. Save you a beer. Save Shut, you a beer. Shut up, Gerald. <laughs> Shut up, Gerald. I know your name. Gerald. Okay. Uh, Gerald. Yeah, that's good you know my name. I'm glad you know my name. Yeah. Uh, you better not come down the, better come down the jack in the box again. I'm going over there right now. I oh, know you better and not come over I, here. No, I, I, I'm coming. I'm going over there right now in a few minutes. Oh, you better not come I, over I here. Wanna, I want to. I want to. I want to elaborate to you. I am a peace officer. Oh so, bullshit! Oh, here what? we go. Here we. All right. <laughs> but, all right. All right. Badge, you know, badge know, number. Badge, badge hey, number, please. I, I, badge I number, hope, please. I hope no, you, you have contact to... your. I hope you contact <laughs> your lady <laughs> and ask her was I in uniform. Be, Actually, be, was I in be, uniform? Be, be, if you want to play and you think it's a joke and I wasn't, so go ahead and keep on doing that. He's one of them that. sovereign citizens. So, he said right, he's a peace officer. Right. So they don't just put any yeah. old idiot in a uniform, all right? They have qualifications hey, that are required say, to do that job. If you say don't bullshit all that, me. I'm, gla I'm glad you, uh, uh, you, 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 you understand you, that. You. All right, fuck off now, all right? I'm done with you. I, I, I'm a what? <laughs> fuck off, I'm stupid. You're, uh, shut up.
Just, just fuck off. Just go off the phone. You're an idiot. M M R R. Go on, fuck off. And and you are ja you you uh, represent uh, Jack in the Box. I represent. Uh, uh, shut the fuck up. Get off the phone. I already told you where I was from. Ask me. You questions. and you and you and hey, they hey, they hey, they hired hey. you to be a corporate uh a person. And what you, you got back. Damn. I've no idea what language this is. Quite honestly. What? I have. I've literally met dogs that could speak clearer than this. <laughs> and you, and you can speak clearly yourself. Correct. And you, you believe you think you speak clearly. Correct. Some huh. music in the back. Oh, but you can say correct. I can say that too. Correct. You can't say it properly though, can you? Speech impediment. Now fuck off. Oh, so you telling me to fuck off? Yes. Correct. <laughs> Well done. By Jove, he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a comedian. Ha <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hanging up on him, sorry. I was getting bored. <laughs> oh. There's so many other people to call. Right it's like, I know, the noise in the background was pissing me off. Uh, let's see here. Culver's. Am I saying that right? Culver's? No fucking idea what they do. <laughs> Corporate office, my name is Gaspian, how can I help you? What's your name? My name is Gaspian, how can I help you? Gaspian? Yes, how can I help you? Okay, no, I'll just return the call, someone had called me. I, okay, can I help you with anything? Oh, uh, uh, no, uh-uh, I just need to make sure I'm dialing the right number. You stupid man. Why are you calling if you are not wanting anything? Go on, fuck off. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Culver's, I would like someone to call me back. I've tried contacting you via email and no response. Now I've tried contacting you through phone and still no answer. Someone call me. <laughs> Tell us what to do. Call them and hang up. All right. Should I call them but not listen? Apparently they do great food, according to Deadpool. What kind of food do they do? Greasy. Greasy shit. Macronshow.com forward slash donate. Call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Seven. Butter burgers, apparently. Butter burgers. <laughs> Sounds dreadful. No ideas original. Nothing new under the sun. Nothing new under the sun. No ideas original. Nothing new under the sun. It's never what you do when I was done. Automatic voice message system. Seven. Damn it. Make my heart pump, make my heart pump, pump, pump. Oh, body, hypnotic productions. Make my heart pump, make my heart pump, pump, pump. Oh. It's never what you do, but how it's done. Yo. Take a look, check. To an automatic message system. Seven. All right, fine. Get out of here. Vitalize hair products. God, this is so... I'm not reading this. Is there even a number in there? Hang on, it's just the company number. Fuck that. Rosie has questions from uh, La Madeline. Oh. Um, uh, let me see what time is that. Oh, yeah, conferences. I forgot about them. Yeah, at 7.15 p.m. our time. Oh, wait, what the fuck is this? Well, oh, it's that was a while ago. Calendar. Yes, that was a while ago. In about an hour and a bit, we have an unsecured UA meeting. And in a few minutes, we have one that might be unsecured. Can't say. Shout out to my boy Leon in the chat. Come join us in Discord, guys. MacronShow.com slash Discord. You're missing out if you're not in there. So much crazy shit in between the shows, you know? 
Don't miss it. Hulk smash! Macronshow.com slash donate. That's right, down south this person's called Rosie. Aww. Aww, Rosie. I can't believe tr Jeff threatened to kill my dog. What an asshole. What pussy. Hello? Good Hello? afternoon, ma'am. This is Ron calling from La Madeleine. Yes. Um, I had a message. I work here at the corporate office, and I had a message to give you a call. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was about uh, the... We had went there... Uh, I think it was Monday. Mm-hmm. There was like a roach um, crawling on my husband's leg. Oh. Yeah, so. Your, your husband. So then we. we I'm so, sorry? So it was on your husband's leg, so you think he brought the yeah, roach. Yeah, it was like. So you think he yeah, brought that with crawling. him? You think he may have brought that into the restaurant? Oh, no, no, no. No. Oh, it's we just you said it was on his. Starting. You said it was on his leg. It was crawling, yeah, like going up. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's so. Probably he brought that in there, right? So you're saying there may be a cockroach infestation that you brought in? I mean, it was there, I guess. Maybe in inside the oh my the goodness. Medley. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. we we will have to send you a bill for the uh, eradication of the cockroaches that you brought into the restaurant. Mhm. Mm so we'll be sending yeah. we'll be sending that in the mail, the bill for the cockroaches. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Okay. And you're happy to pay that? That's all fine, is it? I'm sorry? You're happy to pay the bill for the uh, for the removal of the roaches? What do you mean? I, I just explained and you agreed. No, uh, no, 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 no. I'm saying me and my husband went to eat breakfast. Yes, and you brought a cockroach with you, and that's why no, we're going no, no, to have no, to charge no, you. No, is to, no, to, I, no, I never We're going to have no, to call in a company a to get rid of the cockroaches that you brought. No, you said it was, a roach. A roach was in the meddling. Yes, you brought your. You said, you said your husband brought it in. It was crawling on his leg, and he left it in the how restaurant. How are we going to bring it? I mean, how are we going to bring it? I don't it? know. I've no mean? idea. I've no idea how or why no. you brought a cockroach into our establishment. No, 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 no. That's why. That's why I was calling. Because then we couldn't eat. That's nasty, you know? Yeah, I mean, you should not You should be careful not to bring cockroaches into a restaurant. We're going to have to call a company now to come and clean that up. No, you have to be careful. And you have to oh, be yeah, clean. no, we are, we are going to be careful. So we're going to take, no, we're going to take, we're going to take, we're going to take precautions by not letting you in the restaurant no, again. So right, you don't bring any more filthy. Hey, shut up when I'm talking. Don't talk. How dare you talk you over me? Fuck you, bitch. I'm <gasps> the, the human service. Oh my! Okay. Do I need to get my supervisor? Fuck you, big supervisor! You dirty cockroach people! How dare you talk to me like Fuck that? You, <gasps> Stop it! My God! Yeah, come on, call your supervisor. No, I'm, I'm getting the supervisor. You goddamn filthy cockroach, Beano! One moment, please. I can't please. believe I can't believe y'all y'all so dirty, dirty people. You brought the cockroach, you dirty Mexican. Your call yeah, is very important it, yeah. to us. Please hold. Yeah, I brought it. I'm gonna bring the cockroach and put it in your fucking ass, you piece of shit. Please hold. Please hold. <gasps> Hi, oh, Ray. Is that, is that you, Ray? Hey, yeah, what's up? Ray, I've got a real live wire on hold on line three. She can't hear us. She's just listening to the whole music. She's swearing oh, no, and no, yelling. No, people. It's some filthy, what do you call them, those dirty people, Mexicans. And uh, she, she brought a cockroach into the restaurant. Oh, no, is this and, the Yeah, and I've just been explaining that we're sending her a bill to remove the infestation. But um, can I can I take her off hold? Because she's been on hold for a minute and she's just listening to the hold music. Yeah, I'll explain it, I'll explain it. Please right. hold. I'll bring her in right now. Just take her off hold. Please hold. Hey there, this is Jamie Thompson. I'd just like to get some information. Can you tell me when was it that you were in the location? It was Monday. I have the receipt what I spent. Oh, you were there on Monday, right? I was there Monday, yes. 
Ah, okay, gotcha. Okay, so um, basically, I'll explain the situation. Um, there, there is going to be a significant fee involved in cleaning this up. So, is that okay if we charge that to you? I was there Monday. Okay, you're yeah. gonna pay me. How much? Wanna, how much are you gonna pay me? Because I need my money. Oh back, no, you're. You know? You're gonna like, pay us. I pay like almost. I pay almost like no. fifty dollars. And I couldn't eat because y'all are so nasty. I have roaches in the metal. No, I mean, you you have that you backwards. Know? You're going to pay us. That's disgusting. That's so disgusting. I know it is. You know? You have to be clean. I know. We deserve, to, we be deserve to be compensated you have to for have this. Your people. You have to have your people to be clean, you know? You're so nasty. Yeah. And disgusting. I agree. You have to be clean. Yes, you're clearly not a clean person. So yeah, we will be clean. charging you clean. for that. Uh, the fee is going to be so, applied now to the card. So, you know, Give me I a second. I'm just going to buy it. Human service, you know, to the Houston Human Service. So um, they can give you a ticket because y'all don't take care of the customers. Y'all know? Credit card charge. Right. So that's gone through. Um, so um you know yeah, what because so you're a you... piece of shit that's what you are you know you're a motherfuckers Great. and poop that so road to your fucking ass you piece just, of shit just just for the purpose of the recording what day was it i was there for monday <laughs> and do you agree to she's gone <laughs> oh she has been awfully rude i'll call her back she needs to apologize that was disgraceful yeah. bringing a cockroach in here Hey, stupid. Sorry, we just got disconnected there. Uh, just for the purpose of the recording, uh, can you can you Who tell me? Who said first of uh, all? Yes. Who are you calling me stupid? Uh, I'm not calling anyone stupid. Ma'am, can you tell those filthy just, uh, can you tell those filthy kids in the background to shut the fuck up, please? Men are trying to talk. That would help. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, but I ain't gonna tell them to shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? Well, that's because you're a bad parent. Yeah, yeah. If you, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do a compromise. Can you move from a location that is far away from the annoying whiny brats? Could you move away from those disgusting children? The middle of the ocean would be good. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, that's where I'd like to butt them, to be perfectly honest with you. I bet you do that a lot. No, we, you, you filthy Mexicans always do that kind of thing. We're not interested. I'm sorry. That's disgusting. Yeah. Hmm. We are clean. Ron and I are very clean. Mm -hmm. Now, about this charge. Can we talk about the charge now? Credit card charged. Can we talk about the charge, ma'am? Please? church right let me explain this to you you brought the infestation into our location and you're going to pay for it so uh, we're so, not allowed to refer to them as an infestation we must refer to them as mexican <laughs> yes yes um, oh you so meant the you cockroach i'm sorry i'm sorry i got those mixed up sorry ron we brought uh, the cockroach to the Madeline. Nah. yes you did nah. No, I mean that you brought them there. That's what I mean. From your disgusting house? We never did. We never did. Yes, we did. So what happened was you were sitting at home in your disgusting house uh, with your filthy children <laughs> and some cockroaches who were probably Don't the cleanest me. living things Don't in that house uh, were on your That's person. Bullshit. And they arrived at the location and invested it. Well, I don't know. Y'all so, should clean y'all little ugly ass restaurant because. No, you I have that have the wrong way around. Everything. You have to clean yourselves. Okay? And then build that fucking wall as well. Quite frankly, I think the uh, cockroaches were the cleanest thing in the household. Yeah, we have had a complaint from the cockroach that he did get dirt on him from your husband's leg. Uh, the cockroach is nah, going to be charging you for that. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> the, the, cock, the cockroach was very upset by the smell coming from your table, actually. <laughs> yes. He has complained as well. 
I, I'd, I'd say the cockroach is a better parent than this person. Yeah, the, the, the cockroach also has less kids. <laughs> <laughs> That is true. <laughs> it's so funny, huh? Yes. It's funny as fuck. <laughs> yes, I agree. I bet the cockroach uses yeah, protection. I'm gonna be funny when they beat your asses. I'm gonna be funny when they beat your asses. Who's gonna beat my ass? Who's gonna beat my ass, ma'am? Would it be your 57th baby daddy? Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> I hear he's very strong. Y'all funny. Y'all just funny as fuck. Have anything else I to know. say? I have, I have a lot more people to call and you're, you're getting boring now. I have one more question to ask. Go uh, ahead. When are you on the Mari Povich show this week? <laughs> now you know what? Fuck you. And your ugly ass. Oh, that's fantastic. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, I like being the one to hang up. It kind of puts us in control. Uh, and pisses them off. All right, next one's for Oprah Winfrey. I just oh, purchased God. a new Fire TV that is a f TV with a fire stick. We have been watching a show called Addicted to Food the last couple of days, and now today I get an error that it's not available. I cut my cable and purchased Hulu Live, and I see that Own is an app I can watch. How can I get your programming one day and then not the next? Thank you, Kevin. Why is he writing to Oprah Winfrey about his Amazon fire stick? Do I pretend to be Oprah Winfrey? Also, I think the... Oh, I, I know what to down. do. I'll pretend to be from the Oprah Winfrey show, but I'll say I've got a contact at Amazon, which is you. Yay! There we go. Perfect. Hello? Good afternoon, sir. May I please speak with Kevin? This is he. Kevin. What can I do for you? Hi, this is Ron with the Oprah Winfrey Network. Okay. I was forwarded an email today with a request to give you a call. I wondered if I can help at all. Um, you guys have great timing. Yesterday you were calling when I was taking my daughter into campus housing at UCI. And now I'm in the process of driving home. Well, okay. So, anyways, may, may, so, may, so, maybe don't so, maybe don't email the company requesting a call then if it's inconvenient to receive a phone call. Well, duh. I don't know if you can answer. Um, do you want me to reply back to your company telling what kind of shitty service I'm getting from please, customer service? Please don't swear at me, sir. There's no need to be like that. I'm just trying to help, but you're being very obstructive. Then, then your comment to me about then please don't email us when you have a problem. Well, yeah, you, you're sitting there bitching about getting a call back that you requested. I mean, what the hell? Um, because you guys don't give a time to call back. You guys just call back. Oh, no, I want to be called. Oh, what, what, what makes you so special that you think you can email us and dictate when we'll call you back? Sorry, okay. Ron. Number you. one. Uh, Sorry, this, this is, is the my number one. So my, su my supervisor's Ron. now on the line, sir. Okay, you're gonna have to deal with yeah, him. Yeah, I just wanted right. to let you, you let know, Ron. I think I know what he was asking. So he was asking you to psychically know when he was free. Oh so right, yeah. Them. No, my my psychic powers weren't working. Yeah, I wasn't able to detect when you wanted me to call. I'm so sorry about that. He hung up. Oh, that's that stupid Mexican calling back as well. She can get to the... <laughs> What? What? What do you want? What? What's what? up, so I What? Brilliant. All right, uh, let's see who's next. <laughs> uh, Give me the number and I'll dial it on our cat. Well, you know, what, you, know what, you, know what, you know what you've gone and done now, right? What you've gone and done is you've made a big error because uh, now your phone's going to be really tied up for the rest of the night. Okay? <laughs> now <you're>, oh, <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd stop now if I was you. Um, but no, I mean. No. Here, here we go with some well, clever remarks. Up. See, now she's at the point before the. Uh, now, uh, what are you hanging up for? Um. Yeah, you're going to be real busy with your phone today. Look out for the hundreds of incoming calls that are about to come in and stop bothering us, okay? Okay. 
Here, I'll just ring. I'll mute. You go ahead and do the next one. Go ahead and look okay. at your phone and tell me what's happening right now. That's a real pussy. You keep on hanging up for for what? I'm not hanging Unless up. I'm not, multiple lines. I'm not hanging up. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's them. Yeah, so retarded, I swear to God, on me, y'all Yeah, I, uh, I just put your phone number in a bunch of crazy way, places, so... Way, this is her daughter talking. I don't give two shits. Oh. Are you an ugly cunt like your mother? <laughs> Why do you want to talk to my mother for? Because she's a stupid cunt. Please leave your message for... A stupid cunt. So, so her name appears to be Rosie. In Houston. Yeah, who's it? In Houston. <laughs> Sounds like her phone's getting pretty busy over there. Yeah, Please it's leave like your message work from for all different <laughs> numbers as well. Are you realizing your mistake yet over there? Hey. Hey. We can do this all night, you know. So yeah. what's up? Oh, you'll find out what's up. <laughs> Look at your oh, phone. I'll find out what's up. Uh huh. Oh, your mom, Please leave your message for. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's what I can can uh, can you guys keep her phone busy so we can go with the show? Please your message for. Y'all over bitch. there calling back up, huh? No, I just yeah. gave your number out to a whole bunch of crazy people that are going to keep you very busy for the next few days, maybe even weeks. That's where you that's why you that's why you fucked up by constantly calling me and harassing me. That's good. They could call me, man. I good. Got all the time to be talking to them ugly asses. Yeah, well, you sound like you don't have a job, so I can believe that. Okay. Anything else? At least I'll be getting that money. Anything else I can... Yeah, you won't be getting any money. Now, anything else I can help you with? Four dollars an hour. <laughs> oh, yeah, mama. Get four dollars an hour, bitch. Your I, call can yeah, you leave your message or please consult your directory and call again or ask your operator for assistance. This is a recording. Please leave your message. Alright, bored of her now. Me too. Down south and all you guys, please keep her busy for me. She's getting really annoying. Nice. Oh, someone's doing the ownage pranks on her. Fuck ownage pranks. We're better than ownage pranks. God damn it. Shout out to ownage pranks, though. If <laughs> uh, wasn't there a conference happening as well? I'm still calling, so... Yeah, we must be keeping her that busy. Yeah. Everyone else get calling that number. Yeah, come on, guys. I've put it in two places in Discord. Don't make, don't make me put it in YouTube. All right, that's that's gonna annoy me. I'm just gonna turn that off for a moment, so we don't have to listen. Please leave your mess. All right, yeah, knock, knock yourself out. I bitch. was there Monday. <laughs> we know you were there Monday. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> oh. Um. All right, get donating some schmeckles, you guys. Otherwise, the show's over. That's how it works. Do like a one-hour show and then fuck off. Macronshow.com slash donate. PayPal.me slash Ron Blackman. GoFundMe.com slash Prank Call Station. You have, you have to donate to all of them now. That's how it works. Wherever you're going to donate, you have to do it like three times. It's a good system. Thanks for the link, Brent. Ah, oh, fuck. Someone sent a PayPal. Hey Vaz, thanks for the PayPal, appreciate that. Thanks for using PayPal and not Google, because fuck Google. PayPal.me forward slash Ron Blackman. Go, hey Vaz. Let's try the conference. Maybe there'll be someone there. Yeah, see what's going on in there. Earlier on we called Rageaholics and put the whole thing there, it was really this good. Service is I'll crush you! Yeah. If you are the host, press star now. <laughs> No wonder these people don't have jobs. They can't even show up for their own fucking meeting. I know, they're not even trying. Let's <laughs> see, there's a few other ones on. 
<laughs> Thanks, Down South. Uh, gave Down South the number and they've strangely stopped ringing. <laughs> hmm. It's weird Welcome how that works. Free conference. Fuck them up, Down South. You will now enter the conference. We can listen to the people that call... Oh, the people that call her back. Uh, it depends if they record it. Down South might record it. As well as handing over all your schmeckles, guys, don't forget to go to macronshow.com forward slash discord and come join in. That's where all the real action yeah, is. mandatory. No conferences, right, then? for conferences, yeah. Fucking hell. Is there any at, any at like midnight our time though? Uh, the one we're waiting on is the unsecured meeting, which hopefully will be going on, and that's in about. It's in about 7 15 pm, or not 7 15 You know what I mean, EST, that's in about great. an hour's time. We've got another person that's been okay. scammed by National Consumer Center. They want their free Walmart vouchers because, of course, it's a real thing. <laughs> These people are oh, always the worst. Server. These are the wor worst kind of aggressive assholes every fucking time. Uh, who call it? <laughs> Please leave your message for... Idiot. Yep. Just a just a blank voicemail. No signs of intelligence at all. That's the cockroach of more intelligence for the last call. Uh, Mike, the PayPal for donations. You just go to paypal.me forward slash Ron Blackman and it's all. Please there. leave your message for. I'll put a link in the chat for you. PayPal.me forward slash Ron Blackman. And he'll tell you what to do there. Who is this? This is Ron. I told you. This is Ron from National Consumer Center. Just responding to your email. Oh, yes. You asked hey. us to give you a call, so may I ask why you're being so incredibly rude and yelling at me? Oh, because I don't, didn't know this number, and I get called well, un all the time unfor from unfortunate telemarketers. Unfortunately, ma'am, because you just screamed, who the hell is this, down the phone and hurt my ears, I'm now cancelling the $1,000 gift card I was about to send you. No. I'm not joking. I'm sorry. I'm not joking. Oh, no, you are sorry now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I get telemarketers all the time. Maybe, maybe you'll learn not to be such. Time. Maybe you'll learn not to be such a bitch when you pick up the phone. Then, won't you? Good day. Hung up on her. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I but did that person's dumb enough to believe it. I'm so sick part. of people doing that. You know what I mean? Have you, Who is this? Like you, you literally emailed today asking for a call. You have no right to be answering the phone like that. You know? Is that for, is that a serious problem in America? Because. We, we get the Indian ones over here, but nothing apart from that. Um, I think Americans get scammed more than anybody, yeah. Um, wow. Because they're relatively well off and also relatively stupid. I'm sorry, all the listeners. I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, here we go. Uh, dozen. 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 D A Z N, Dazen. I don't understand what the fuck this is even about. It sounds like bullshit to me. Yeah, stop getting scammed, Americans. That's your problem. Yeah, give your money to a reliable Hello? source. Hello. Hello. Oh. That was, a, that was a silent voicemail. Fuck that. Uh, this, I was going to say, give your money to a reliable source, like the Star Citizen GoFundMe. <laughs> the Star Citizen GoFundMe. <laughs> the world's or most expensive game, yeah. 
Uh, this is a great totally, one. Totally, totally won't be wasted at all. But you're you're going to fucking love this, Ray. Get ready. So this is a complaint yeah. about Aaron's, about an electrical stove, but the customer's name is Candy Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Candy Bush. Get in here. <laughs> Hello? Hi, may I speak to Candy Bush, please? This is. Hi, Candy. This is Ron from Aaron's. Hi. I'm just calling about the issue, something about a stove. I work here at corporate, and I got an email. Yeah. Uh, how can I help? Uh, um, I have a stove. Um, it hasn't been working since Monday. Huh? Um, Aaron's came out on Tuesday and said, okay, um, we're going to get you a new stove because this one had an electrical issue. A code came up and it was electrical. And they said, give, give them two hours. So four, four and a half hours went by. I called them. Oh, we we're just about to call you. We found you a stove, but it's dirty. we got to get it cleaned. Mind you, my stove is immaculate. I'm not going to take somebody's dirty stove that I don't know where it's been. Oh, but it would have been so, cleaned. It um, would be cleaned, though. We do, we do clean all the secondhand stoves. But I had been gone two days without a stove, and then they wanted me to go an additional another day without a stove. Right. So when she wanted me to wait another day, I said, I can't wait another day. Nobody's going to be home for you even to bring it in the morning. Everybody works so late. So oh. I kind of got a little snippety, so I said, okay, fine. I'm going to call headquarters. And I got, I got the runaround about even getting a hold of corporate to even make a complaint. Hmm. Every number I got was either clicked me off or said something about talking to somebody from Canada I mean, it's just a pain in the butt. I mean, I've been making, making my payments a month at a time in advance. And, I mean, to be treated like this, I mean, it, it's just terrible. I mean, I do plan on going someplace else. But I've, I've paid 12, let's see, 16 months I've paid on the stove. And okay. it still looks brand new. Okay. And now I'm just, well, out, out of all that money that I've already paid, I don't have a stove. We've been having to order out for four nights now. That's just totally ridiculous. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, and th this whole month is paid for in advance, and I have no soul. I understand. I'm so sorry. Um, so what? as a resolution, what would you like? Are you asking for a brand new replacement stove or a refund? Yes, they what, said they were giving me, and then, she, then, the, then the lady tells me it's dirty. That they found me yeah. one that was dirty. Yeah, but I, really, I mean, all the, replace, really all the replacement stoves that we give out are, are refurbished, so they have previously been used. Okay, well, he shouldn't have said new. Get you a new stove. Well, it's and new. It's new main, to you. My, it's new to you, so that's why we still use the the word new. My main thing is, I believe mm. that the issue stems from. There's a manager there. I think his name is Leo. Okay. I think his title is manager. My daughter and his son dated for three years, and I think that that's a lot of the reason why I'm getting the hassle about oh. even getting one. So it's what? So, it's your daughter's ex that works there. Her, my daughter's ex's father. Your daughter's ex's father. Okay. Yeah. What, my what? daughter used to date his son for three years. And right. Well. I mean, okay. I, I went to jail and everything. Not good. So oh I believe that has, might have a lot to do with it. I haven't even heard back from these people since I told them I was calling corporate on them. Oh, wow. I haven't even heard them say, well, well ma'am, do, do, do you want us to do Due to the serious nature of some of these allegations, what I'd like to do is just quickly bring in my supervisor. Would that be okay? Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to put you on a brief hold while I explain the situation to him. Just one moment. Okay. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Oh, hi. Is that Jamie? Yeah, what's up? Hi, Jamie. Uh, sorry to bother you. I've got a customer on hold on line three. Uh, she's just listening to the hold yeah, music, yeah. so she can't hear us right now. Um, I'll uh, take her can't off. Can't be any worse than the last one I had. Oh, I know. Um, well, th this will make you laugh. Um, I'll take her off hold in a moment. Um, she's on line. Cool. Yeah, she's on line three. <laughs> this chick's name is Candy Bush. I'm not even joking. <laughs> 
it's you like mean like Candy Crush. Yeah, it's like it's like Candy with a K, but her name's Candy Bush. Hello. Um, Hello. Anyway, she's she's bitching about uh, the st uh, stove broke. She doesn't like the replacement. Um, I wonder. I wonder what color the candy. So it, is. it turns out her, her. I know, right? It turns out her daughter used to fuck some guy that works for us, so she thinks that's why she's not getting good service. <laughs> I know, right? Anyway, um, I, I I needed Hello. to bring in a supervisor. Her, her daughter I'm... probably fucked every man. He <laughs> right? probably doesn't really narrow it down, does it? They have this problem everywhere they go. <laughs> Jesus. Hello. Okay. All right, let me go ahead and take the bitch <laughs> off hold. Anyway, I'll let you deal with this. Cheers, Jamie. Yeah, sure. Hello. Hello. Please hold. Hello. This is Hello. Jamie. I didn't realize that I just heard your entire conversation. <laughs> Our what? Sorry. Do you realize that I just heard your entire conversation? What conversation was that? You two just talking, and you said, I'll take the bitch off hold. You said my daughter probably fucked everybody down here. I heard your whole entire conversation. <laughs> and guess what? I videotaped it. I mean, everything is... Videotaped? <laughs> Are we on video? Are we on... <laughs> Are we on FaceTime? <laughs> She videotaped. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. She's she's snitching on us now. Hold on. Someone's coming to the phone and he's not going to be happy. Get ready. Here we go. Here comes Uncle Cletus, but out from the shed. <laughs> God damn it, Candy. <laughs> Who's on the goddamn phone? <laughs> he goes, Mom, Mom, you're off hold now. You're off hold. You need to. I know I'm off hold. You need to continue know, the conversation. My, supervis my supervisor's on the line I trying to help you, you Ma'am. I know, but I just taped everything you two were talking about. Well, you my didn't get. Miss Bush, Miss, Miss Bush, you did not get consent to record my voice, and that would be a felony. <laughs> This is a two-party consent state, Candy. <laughs> it's like a stripper name to me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, the name was just too hilarious. I keep laughing. That's got to be a fake name. Have you ever, have you ever been kicked like a off? a mobile game. Have you ever been banned from Facebook for having a porn star name? Oh, <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> God, Jesus <laughs> we, we, went, we went way too far with the whole trick but it was it was worth it oh. no that was brilliant Jesus Christ some dude keeps trying to call I'm not even going to look up who it is we're too busy right now what do you want oh no pay I'm sorry that PayPal charged you a fee uh, thank you for the PayPal Mike I really appreciate that Mike Fox made a PayPal donation. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. PayPal.me slash Ron Blackman if you want to get in on that action. It's the best way to donate. Hello? Ah, oh, good afternoon, sir. I work here at the corporate office. I just had a missed call from this number. Well, you need to stop calling because we made a, a, a report because there was a cockroach calling in my leg. And yeah, somebody's calling in. Talking yeah, to yeah, yeah. You're the dirty. Know. You're the dirty people that brought the cockroach into our restaurant. I know Fuck all about you, this. You, know. you, Fuck you. Sh how dare you. you, sir? If your personal you hygiene, you if your personal hygiene is as filthy as your mouth, Fuck I'm not surprised you. you're infested you with cockroaches. No, it's probably fucking it's probably infested with bugs. Indian motherfucker. I'm not even Indian. You fucking racist. Called it wants his child support back. He just called me Indian. You fucking dirty racist beaner. Fucking Indian, you fucking piece of shit. Shut the fuck up, you wetback. Motherfucker, you better stop calling my number, number report, motherfucker, because they're roaches in the fucking... Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead and report me. Yeah, go motherfucker. ahead. Oh, Enjoy that. that. Enjoy that, yeah. Suck my dick. No, like, no. Not even Suck the cockroach dick, would do that. Yeah, even the cockroach thought it was too smelly. Now get to fuck. Fuck you, motherfucker. 
Is that, your, <laughs> is that your wife calling me on the other line? Tell your mom, I mean, your mom to suck my dick and your wife, motherfucker. No, she doesn't time. go near dirty people like you, you okay? You suck my dick with them, no, too. No, no. Y'all together suck my dick. No. You suck my balls and they suck my dick. All right, Pedro. Not even the cockroach I know do you that. Like it, motherfucker. All right, I Cypress like Hill. All right, I get know. the fuck off the phone now. We're I done. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Get out of here. Hung up on him. <laughs> God, we're getting a, we're getting a lot of calls at the moment. We had ten calls during that call. <laughs> it's it's kicking off. I think his wife was calling on the other line though. The stupid bitch. Probably. Corporate office, this is Ron. How may I service your needs today? Uh, you were just speaking to my wife. Yeah, and I thought I told her to shut the fuck up. Oh, 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 oh hold on a second. Oh, 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 oh no. Yeah, wife, you're calling up here like a big man. Oh, I just got spoke to your wife, so fucking what? What are you going to do about it, big man? Yeah. Is this the one whose daughter fucked everyone in school? I think so, yeah. Is this Candy Bush's husband? Where are you at, you bitch-ass motherfucker, that you want to talk to me like that? Ah, uh, you come down here if you got a problem. Sir, everyone knows about her. Yeah. I mean, sir, when you married her, did you not realize that Candy, with a K, is kind of a stripper name? Probably a prostitute name. Well, the apple didn't fall from that far from that tree. No, no, no wonder, no wonder your daughter's fucking the guy at the furniture store. Well, that'd be one of the... Well, would it be 800 or so? So you've been on this call for 60 seconds. How's it going for you? <laughs> you glad you called? <laughs> she reproduces at a race close to bacteria. This is the woman that said she videotaped us as well. Yeah. Oh, there they go. There they did. He did not like it. <laughs> I'm guessing that call did not go how he expected. <laughs> oh. you, you called my wife. Oh, really? <laughs> All right, someone has a problem with access wireless. They always do. They don't really, don't really give me any details, which, to be honest, We get is them to great. reset the router? Reset everything. Sorry, that mailbox is full. Oh, of course. All right. Uh, this person's complaining about OfferUp took $157 out of their bank account. Carbon tax, carbon tax. That's what that was. Pay your damn carbon taxes, people. It's pronounced router. 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 Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon, sir. This is Ron calling from OfferUp. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Yes, it's ma'am. Well, go ahead. Okay, sir. Yeah, how can I help? Okay. Yes, I hope you can. All right. I had talked to the buyer. Right now, my cell phone's down. I, and I've already had talked to the buyer right. um, that I didn't want the item. I didn't want it in the first place. Why right? did you order it I then? But why did you uh, order it? I thought it was. I thought it was a real mini bike. You thought it was a real mini bike. Yeah, I thought it was a real mini bike. So I, I told him I'm sorry. And when I seen the 157 taken out, how did you get my bank information? Oh, um, so we use um, artificial intelligence algorithms. So when you sign up for the site, we just automatically um, get a hold of all your bank details, social security, credit card numbers. It's so that we can charge you whenever we want. All right, because I don't like anybody have my social security number. And usually, I oh have yeah, well, no, we 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 have everything because it's all done by the cloud now, the cloud computers. So we just get everything. We know everything about you. Well, you shouldn't know everything about me. That's well, against the law. No, no, it's not. It's all in our terms and conditions, which you accepted when you signed up. Um, okay, well... We, we, get I... we get access to your phone's camera and microphone. We, we can see your emails. We can look at your pictures. We, we get everything. It's all well, there I'm on the offer. To, I'm, I'm deleting everything off. Oh, no, you, you can't. It doesn't matter if you delete the app. You signed up to a billion-year contract. Why are you talking to me like this, sir? Because... I'm just trying uh, to explain the, the situation to you. I'm sorry if you're finding it I know, difficult. But it, it, it's making me upset. I'm already upset over the situation. Oh, I'm, as so, as no, as I'm, as I'm as sorry. I, I didn't mean to do that. I, I got um, my mom in the hospital and I to you, and I'm really not. Uh, <laughs> and everything. Who's your favorite radio station who gets you fired? <laughs> huh? <laughs> 
What did you say, sir? I don't know. What was that other voice? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Uh, this, this, this is uh, Rick and John in the morning. You just got pranked. You've just been butt slammed. Huh? Yeah, that's what we're calling it now. You've been butt yeah, slammed. Yeah, it's a prank phone call. Uh, that's right. Hang it's up. a prank phone call? Yeah. Bye. Yeah, hang up. Bye. Hey. Uh-oh. -uh. This can't be no prank phone call. Wait. How? Why? 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 Hey, well, why? Why are you pranking me and saying you're from Offer Up? Um, and you already had my information. Well, we're hackers. Because you put it on the internet, dumbass. <laughs> Why, Bye. Why are you doing this to me? Bye. Bye. It's a prank Bye. phone. No, it's a prank. Stop by. I'm calling the police. Why? Yeah, you do that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Have fun with that. Jesus Christ, <laughs> she was a bit of a downer, wasn't she? Holy fuck. Yeah, good, good call, Ray. Fuck, fuck her. We don't need that kind of negativity around here, you know. Uh, okay, that's not a working number. Ray, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a short break in a minute, Ray. Can you? Do you think you can Let handle all things? Yeah. See if you got any conferences to do. I'm not going just yet. In a couple of minutes, though, I am. Oh Jesus, we have one right now. It won't last long, though. <laughs> Might as well get out of the way. Oh, go on then. Throw us in there. Are they just gonna kick us straight out there? No, they're all gonna run away. Like little bitches. Welcome to oh. Webex. Wow, we have a hundred and hundred and forty listeners, right? To Webex. You will now be placed into the conference. Hello. 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 Well, this is Winston. You just joined us. Winston. 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 Hey, Winston. This is Jamie from the Satanist uh, conference. Winston. Winston. Here to praise Satan. Hail Satan. Thanks for using WebEx. <laughs> <laughs> that did it, yeah. yeah. wonder why. I do love that thing of just getting the names and just going, Winston. <laughs> yeah. <to> <laughs> Hello. You can see how popular they are. Nobody bothers to show up. All right, just, win, just Winston. Though. You will now be placed into the conference. Yeah, we're just here celebrating uh, homosexuals and gay marriage. I'm here for the uh, Victims of Winston conference. People that were molested oh. by Winston. Is this the right place? Definitely. Go ahead. Do your conference. Go on. Go on. Come on. Come on. Get on with it. Come on. Go on. Hulk smash! Hulk crush you! Hulk is strong as there is! You're weak. Well, there you go. Have they just, why have they clammed up, Ray? What's the problem? Uh, I think they all ran away like little bitches. No. Do. All right. Um, Ray, what, what are you going to do for sort of five minutes to ten minutes, Ray? Um, have a look. I don't think we have much. Like, we just have thanks one for the, conference. Uh, have a look. Thanks for the donation, Grunge Smurf. You can always do the manhole, Ray. Yeah, it couldn't hurt. Yeah, we're gonna have a little little break from the complainers, guys. While I just get some fresh air. Well, we're only like two hours in, and we've done a million to billion complainers already. I guess Thursday's a good day for complaints, right? Yep. So, as opposed to broadcasting 15 minutes of silence like other shows might do, let's go let Ray do his thing, you know. If there is a conference, Ray, you better make the most of it. You know? Yeah, there's like one in like five minutes. Well, don't don't just go in there yelling about Satan, you know? 
Go, go with the. Oh, that's go with. <laughs> All right, just go. Go with the subtle approach, you know. Yeah. Lull, lull them into a fog. Larry Cummins is calling. <clears throat> Corporate office. This is Ron. How may I service your needs today? Well, that was Larry. Larry didn't want to talk. Huh. So I call him back, ask him what the fuck he's playing at. Couldn't hurt. Call him back. <laughs> yeah, I'm at 92. We're going to do 40 minutes of people's voicemails. Oh. Hello, Larry. Um, you just tried to call me here? How can I help? It this ain't Larry. This is the woman who you said you hacked into my computer. Ah, shit. How did you get this number? Huh? Sorry, I've already called the police, asshole. Oh, what did the police say? Huh? What, what did the police say about it? I'm waiting for them. Oh, they're coming out there, are they? Oh, yeah. All right. I don't know how, why you're asking did they, like that. Did the police advise you to call me back and talk shit? I never called you back, sir. <laughs> you just Goodbye. did. <laughs> I never called you back. You just fucking did. Jesus, <laughs> stupid woman. Uh, yeah, her, her phone is registered to a Larry Cummins, by the way. She she just called us and then she was like, I, I never called you back. <laughs> what? She's calling the law, yeah, I'm sure they'll be straight around there. I wonder how long it's going to take her to notice my phone number ends in 69666 now. <laughs> By the way, I hope for God's sake no one's calling that number that's scrolling across the screen on YouTube. <laughs> because... <laughs> I, t I tested it earlier, Ray, and it does still work, by the way. <laughs> oh, of course it works, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, call, it, call in any time, guys. The number's scrolling across the screen. If anyone else answers, uh, swear at them and hang up. They'll love it. They'll love it. All right, what's going on over in Discord? Who's in here? Oh, gosh. Corporate office, this is Ron. How may I service your needs today? All right. Hello? Hello? Can I help you? Caller? Caller. Why, why are people right, doing that, right? Yeah, I'm going to... Oh, Trey... We have a good conference. Good old Trayfex is DMing me some numbers on Discord. That's always good. You want the music on in the background yeah. a little bit about there? Ah, uh, the usual, I guess. Is that okay? Not too loud, not too quiet? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Brent, just try calling it and see what happens. All right, you guys, I'll be back in five to ten minutes. Don't go anywhere. Hand over all your schmeckles to macronshow.com forward slash donate. If I get enough donations, I'll come back and stop Ray from doing this. Okay, sounds like a good deal. Thank you for calling this is our halftime show. If you are the moderator, please press one. Otherwise, please hold to be. There are currently. Please, you are now unmuted. No peace, that. Hmm. Well, that one's dead. Here's another one that's just starting. Thank you for calling our... If you are the moderator, there are currently seven other participants in the conference. Please. Yeah, you can delay the opening a minute or two if you have to. Just say we're having technical difficulties. Please, you are now unmuted. Okay. okay, thanks, Rebecca. Good evening, my name is Emily. I am a compulsive overeater and your moderator this evening. Welcome to the 6.45 p.m. sunset phone meeting of Overeaters Anonymous. After a moment of silence, will all those who wish please join me in the serenity prayer by pressing star 1. Okay. 
God. Grant me the serenity. Hi, guys. Very hairy around my penis and my balls. Chronic masturbator. Love to jerk off. I take my own cum. Love to kiss, suck, fuck, jerk off, eat ass, six to nine. Yeah, we would get off together. I can't kick. Oh my God, what was that? Yeah, guys, masculine, muscular, good-looking lumberjack bear calling. Nice, thick, uncut cock. Hairy, front and back, head to toes. Oh, yeah. And Emily's delayed for a minute or two. And just keep hitting star five until oh, I get, get naked. Star, okay? Get nasty and naked. Do okay, wrestling and you. get nasty and naked. Wrestling, nasty and naked. Oh, you are now on Want to get naked? Let's get nasty and naked. <laughs> Wrestling and get nasty and naked. Wrestling, nasty and naked. <laughs> you are now on. Hey, bro, what's up? I'm just kicking back here, man. Stroking, all oh, party and fucking. You are now me. unmuted. Hi, I think I've gotten lost. Um, I'm 26. I am still transitioning, <laughs> and I uh, hope you're the one for me. I'd really like to see a big cock. You are now unmuted. Hi, I think I've gotten lost. Um, I'm 26. I am still transitioning, and I uh, hope you're the one for me. I'd really like to see a big cock. You are now on. Hi, I think I've gotten. You are now muted. You are now. You've unmuted. reached the back door to the new manhole. You are now Operator, unmuted. no collect, reverse charge, or third party Please, calls are, are accepted. Unmuted. This line is strictly for adult Please, you are gay now men. Unmuted. If you're under 18 Please, years you old, now hang up immediately. Please, you are now this unmuted. call is free of all Please, premium rate unmuted. charges. Only normal Please, telephone usage unmuted. costs. Hi guys, very hairy around my penis and my ball. Chronic masturbator. Love you to jerk off. Unmuted. I take my own cum. Love to kiss, suck, fuck, jerk off, eat ass, six to nine. Yeah, maybe we get off together. Please, you are now unmuted. Yeah, guys, masculine, muscular, good looking. You are now Jack unmuted. Air calling. Nice, thick, uncut Please. cock. Hairy, you are now muted. back, head to toe. You are now oh, unmuted. Yeah, I'm looking. Breathe, Please, you are now, and see. You are now Please press. Oh, you are now yeah. unmuted. Want to get naked? Let's get nasty and naked. Do wrestling and get nasty you are and naked. Wrestling, unmuted. nasty and naked. Oh, nasty, nasty. Please, you are now unmuted. Does anyone here want some pizza? So I'm ordering. Please, you are now unmuted. Pizza? Please, you are now unmuted. Anyone want some pizza? Please, you are now unmuted. KFC? Please, you are now unmuted. McDonald's? Alright, there you go. Hello? Hi, yeah, I need a room for a hundred chickens and a goat. <laughs> that was his personal cell phone, by the way. <laughs> oh, what a dumbass. Yeah, I did the conference. They hung up immediately. Need I press motor in? Yeah, how much would it be for a room for a hundred chickens and a goat? Pardon me? How much would it be to have a room for a hundred chickens and a goat? <laughs> That is uh, waiting for you go there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, that was a good one. <laughs> you can hear him screaming at the background. <laughs>
Yeah, he said hello because it was his personal phone number. <laughs> no, he said that's what's waiting for you there. Uh, let's try this one. Hi, it's Jeff. Can't take your call right now. Leave us your info and we'll get back to you right away. Thanks. Sorry, there's no more room oh. to record new messages. That's weird. Can't record anything. Who else can we call? Four, zero, six. <laughs> they turned the phone off, I think. That was Dalton option. Please leave your message for two zero. No, okay. Hmm. Let me call back our friend. Let's see if anyone donated or if I uh, I should just stay away. Leave Ray in charge. Hi everyone. Hello. Yes, Hello. I am. I am representing a family of roaches that were unfairly treated by your husband. Uh, they are filing a lawsuit against you. They. They what? They allege. They allege unsafe working conditions, and they allege that you uh, transported them into a restaurant, uh, and they are now facing charges for being there. So the family of roaches, uh, they're looking for significant compensation for this. What are they putting charges for? Well, they're putting charges for you transporting them into the uh, establishment. And the treatment no, that. because nah, y'all have cockroaches in anatomy, so I don't know. Yeah, no, the the cockroaches they are very upset and they are pressing charges against you. So I've been tasked with dealing with this lawsuit. <laughs> the cockroaches have been very. Upset. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they said that you were behaving terribly. That your family was very annoying. Uh, oh, all eight hundred of them. Yes. So. Oh, I don't know. So I I just wanted to let you know that. Okay. Bye, assholes. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, they were incredibly rude. Have you? Yeah, they didn't understand. No. I was representing the cockroaches. Um. Well, we had no missed calls while those shenanigans was occurring. That's good. Did you hear I called uh, Carl's personal phone and got him? I heard Carl. I heard Carl's wife. I heard that lady in the conference when you played the manhole <laughs> stuff. She was like, oh my god, what was that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, where are we? Uh, okay. Oh, that, I think that's a phone number. I can't say the company oh. name though. Um, 
Agnieszka Do Dobos. Okay, Hotwire charged reservation fee and never reserved the flight. Okay, I'll call this Hotwire. That's much easier to say. I have no idea what the other name is. I don't know why they would put that. Thanks to everyone that donated so far. Macronshow.com slash donate. Hello. Good afternoon, ma'am. Ron calling from Hotwire Corporate Office. Hello. Hello, this is Ron at Hotwire Corporate Office. And she hung up. What a moron. Aww. Keep calling her until she talks. I'll make her talk. I'm standing for this bullshit. Ma'am, I'm, ca I'm calling from Hotwire. Can you hear me? Yes. You asked us to give you a call? When I mean I've been dealing with a claim before, but it doesn't look like it's been solved. Well, I have an email here. It just says to give you a call. Um, yeah, that was about the flight you guys should reserve and that didn't. Um, that's fine. I guess you know I've been getting some emails and and I, I I'm not feeling like I need to re reopen this. You you. Sorry, you want to reopen the case or it's resolved? No, it it hasn't been really resolved, but I guess I'm not going to get any further, so let's leave it be. Okay. Thank you so much for calling. No problem. Well, um, uh, we will just apply the standard $30 customer service fee for this call, uh, but thank you for getting in touch and have a great day. What, what do you mean about customer fee? Oh, uh, you, you filled in the email form to request a callback from customer service, a premium customer service callback. Um, so there is a $30 charge for that. It was all on the website where you filled in the form. I um, but we don't, yeah. But I don't worry, we don't need we don't need any information from you. We have your card on file already, so we'll that 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 has already been charged automatically. Well, that needs to be refunded. Oh, well, why? That needs because uh, because uh, I filed a claim and I'm, you guys are yeah, giving you... me $150 on top of uh, all the things that you guys put me through by not reserving my well, that's, supply. Well, that, that's all fine, but the $30 charge is for the call that I made just now. Oh, really? Well, let's... That cannot go through. I do not agree to that, and that would be ridiculous. Oh, no, well, you, thank you, you so much for calling. I mean, would you like I to speak? Agree to... Would you like to speak to a supervisor about this if you want to dispute please, the charge? Please. Okay, if you could hold for one moment, please. Thank you. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Hey, is that Jamie? Yeah, what's up? Hi, Jamie. Ron in customer service. I have a caller on hold on line three. Um, she's just listening right. to the hold music right now. Um, this stupid woman basically requested a call back and doesn't want to pay the charge. Um, she filled in the That's standard form on the asshole. website. Um, Wait, no, we, we already discussed this before. Well, I know there I, is no cancelling this. I explained that it's, to her. She's been a real bitch and she wants a supervisor. Kurt, are you okay to take it? Oh, do I have to talk to every one of these fucking bitches? I know. Um, I'll patch her in now anyway. She's been on hold for a minute. All right. One All second. Right. Please hold. Oh wow, she hung up. Unbelievable. Yes, I, I don't. <laughs> huh? I guess you don't have to deal with her. Oh well. We'll let her call. Right. We'll let her call back. Quite honestly, we have a lot of business to attend to. Uh, for example, Trefect has just started sending some really fresh numbers. Uh, Yay! 
such as Ed, who had a problem at Burger King. Go, Ed. Good over here. Thanks, Mike, for the donation. He says, this YouTube channel is awesome. Thanks, Mike. I don't know. It's not as good as half of them. I'll do. How dare you. How dare you. Good afternoon, sir. This is Ron at the Burger King corporate office. I'm sorry? We got a call like this before and it was somebody lying. Um, I just got an email from you about an issue and I was asked to give you a call back. <coughs> Let me get my husband on the phone because it was his issue, but I Great. Don't think you're really with who you are. Oh, I'm, yes, I'm sorry to hear that. Burger King again. There's a man on the telephone. Get off the damn roof. What the hell are you talking about? <clears throat> Sorry? Who said get off the damn roof? I'm not sure what you're referring to. Um, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> she got me. She heard me. <laughs> she heard me. All right, I don't think that one's so fresh, Mr. Trefect. Uh, I think she's been called. I'll try the next one. We'll see. We'll see. Probably not as fresh as our numbers machine, but we'll see. Hey, Ma. Get over there. I can see room. my house from up here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, this is Ron calling from Taco Bell. I'm sorry, calling from where? I'm calling from the corporate office with Taco Bell in response to a complaint. Uh, is this uh, Jennifer? This is, yes, it is. Hi Jennifer, I work here at corporate. I'm just investigating a, a claim that was made. Um, can, you, can you tell me what happened? Um, gosh, um, well, I guess it's been, what, uh, two months ago now? Maybe a month and a half ago, um, we had went through there um, one night about ten ten thirty, and and got you know got the whole family a big thing of food and um, in any ways I I think it was a, a Mexican pizza that I had and I had eaten a little bit of it and then. Um, Anyways, I'm bit into something, and it was, um, and I mean, I was chewing it and all that, and didn't realize it was something, and and then it kind of kind of got in my throat, and I was able to get it out, and it was a corner of a, a I guess of a bag. Um, it looked like it had it was beef, because um, it had it had like stamp on it, like. Um, you know, like, you know how you find groceries or whatever, and there has a, like, due date on it. It was kind of, like, stamped. And, uh, anyways, I uh, called up there, and the lady was, um, um, was very rude. And uh, when I was telling her what had happened, and that, um, you know, to let her know, and she said, well, you'll, uh, I said, as, as she put me, then she put me on hold for a long time. I stayed on there, and then uh, she got back on there and asked her her name. and And I said, as a matter of fact, I said, let me just speak to your manager. And she said, I am the manager. And um, I said, well, then I, who is your boss? Because I'm not getting anywhere, you know, with you. And um, <clears throat> anyways, then she just hung up on me. And uh, and I was I was talking like I am with you. Um, and then the right that could be the problem. Day, I, that could be the problem. You mm -hmm. say you were speaking to her like like you're speaking to me now. Mm-hmm. Right. And that that could be the so issue. When, that that could be the issue. I'm sorry. Continue. Uh, what was the issue? Uh, it's just the way that you speak. It's very whiny and nasally, and it it may have just kind of made her angry. Uh, I can understand how that might happen. I'm sorry. 
It's okay. I mean, it's 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 not your fault probably, but you maybe make an effort to be less uh, annoying when you're explaining the problem. Excuse me. I'm sorry. What was your name? My my name's Ron. Okay, Ron. I I think that's very rude of oh. of you to say that of me. I I think yeah, you are a little bit rude, but it's okay. We're we're professionals. We're here to help. So <laughs> she didn't like that. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, <clears throat> uh, publishers clearing house order not delivered. That's all it says. Mm. Not even going to call her back. She's done. Some idiot tried to call during that call as well, but was, we'll see if he calls back. There's enough people trying to call in right now. I don't need any more of them. I guess they don't want their order. Well, fuck them. Fuck them all, right, Ray. Direct TV payment arrangement, something or other. Again, just let them explain. Thanks for the link, Brent. Macronshow.com forward slash donate. Has been forwarded to an automated oh. voice messaging system. Yeah, forward. Some music on while he's recording his voicemail. Unbelievable. Why? It's not available. Why would you do that? At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. To leave a call back now. Oh wait, we got a call coming in. Corporate office. This is Ron. How may I service your needs today? Ron, this is Jennifer Roach. Hi, Jennifer. How can I help? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. You're calling me about a complaint that I had with Taco Bell. Right. And then you're insulting me about saying that I'm rude and nasally um, and whiny. Excuse me, I didn't insult you. Yes, you did. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am, I did not. Uh, that's, what did I say that was insulting? That your manager at the Taco Bell here in Hernando uh, was probably offended the way that I was speaking to her and I was not ugly with her at all. And you're telling me she was probably offended by the way I sounded? Okay. That's offensive. Okay, well what, what I'd like to do is escalate this to a supervisor actually. I just need to confirm a couple of bits of information before I do that if that's okay. Um, am I speaking with Jennifer? Yes. Okay, great. Um, and you say you're unhappy with how the supervisor spoke to you and also my conduct. Is that correct? Correct. And finding and eating half of a bag of, almost eating a half a bag of plastic okay. in my food. Uh, and what, what specifically did I say that was offensive? Um, I just repeated that to you just a minute ago. Okay, well, it's just for the purposes of the recording, but that, that, that's fine if you don't want to comment on that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the supervisor. It's just going to take 30 seconds, okay? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold.
Hello, this is a supervisor, Jamie Thompson. I'm sorry, um, what was your name? Jamie Thompson. Okay. Jamie, I'm yes, trying to figure out was... why you guys are calling me. Right, yeah, we're just we we're just looking uh, to follow up on the complaint there. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry to hear that you're having trouble here. Um, w what can I do to resolve this issue? Well, I don't know at this point, but I've just thought that it was very rude of the this Ron guy from your corporate office calls and asked me what happened, and I was telling him, explained the whole situation to him, and how yes. the manager acted towards me. And he said, well, it was probably because of the way you sound. Oh, okay. And I'm like, how, how does that fit into taking care of business and telling me it's probably the way huh. that I sounded was because she was offended? Well, That's there have been up. counter allegations made. Uh, Ron did say that uh, you were talking very inappropriately to him, coming on to him. It, it, you were. That is, is that correct. correct. That is correct, sir. Ma'am, is this that has correct? Got to be a joke. Yes, correct. Oh yeah, you can't do that. Uh, you can't harass our staff like that. So um, yeah, I'm going to have to charge a customer service fee. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. No, I'm I'm okay. good. Um, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm not. You know, I've got other no worries. Things to do. I'll, I'll I'll just charge that fee now. Okay, give me a second here. Uh, and just on the visa you have. Yes. Okay, great. I'll just charge that now. Sorry, can uh, I can I interject for a moment, uh, ma'am? Um, yeah. Can I can I ask, ma'am? Are you sorry for what you said to me? Yes, correct. Okay, well that's that's good to know. Thank you. Oh, you I'm glad no, you got it all not, sorted in the end. And and you have no problem with the. I mean, would would you like to leave a ten percent tip for me just for my customer service? That's on top of the fee that you're being yes. charged right now. Correct. Oh, no, great. this is Very crazy. Good. Thank you so much. I'm glad we could get that she all resolved. She the end. Up, she <laughs> 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 that was that was perfect. Yes. Yeah, I had to, I had to mute the hang up noise again. So some dick kept trying to call during that call. Let's see who that was. Let's see who the fuck this is calling. Wait. I had a missed call from this number. What the hell do you want? They, oh, I know this person. Oh, this is the, it's the fucking the co like cockroaches. It's the dirty cockroach people. Go away. Go away, you people. Go on. Shoo. Shoo. Yeah. Shoo. There we go. <laughs> Got rid of them. <laughs> Up on them. That shooed them away. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. Trayfects tray with some newer numbers. All right, here we go. Uh, fuck off. Uh, Popeye's Louisiana kitchen complaint. She's still trying to call. She's on the other line. It's not going to interrupt anything there. Down south, call the cockroach lady again. Oh, oh, that's horrible. Nope. That was horrible. That was her voicemail doing all that crackling. That was terrible. Mm. When we get the new system, we have to make a tr number just to transfer people to. Yeah, Lenny. We'll transfer them to Lenny and just record it. Hello? Hello? Hi, uh, this is Ron at the corporate office with Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen. Yes. Calling in response to a complaint that you emailed in here at corporate. Is this the right person? Yes, it is. Okay. What happened, sir? 
Well, no, it's ma'am. My name is Heather. I have a deep voice. Oh, uh, I'm so you, sorry. You sounded like a man. Okay. No, I know. It's my voice is very deep. Actually, the manager here in Ottawa called me back um, and straightened out about the French fries. But what I don't understand is I go there quite a bit because I do happen to like your chicken. Every time I go after an apple pie, it's always a fight to get one apple pie. They Wait, there's always the a fight. There's, you said yeah. you've been fighting over the apple pie. You can't be fighting yeah, fighting in the restaurant. We wouldn't we wouldn't allow a physical altercation to take place in the restaurant. I don't mean physical. I mean, you said you were in a fight. I said there's always a fight over getting an apple pie. An apple pie. Always the problem. Yeah. Always right. the problem. Right. No, they don't want to. They don't want to. Um, Make they say they can't make too many apple pies because they go in the garbage, so therefore the customer has to wait seven or eight minutes. Or they say, Oh, so so your complaint is you had to wait seven or eight minutes for an apple pie? Yes, oh, that that does so sound sorry. Hold on, no, no, I got this, <laughs> I got this, buddy, ma'am, okay. <clears throat> ma'am, listen up, I'm gonna be real for a minute, ma'am. There are children starving in Africa, are you aware of that? Like every couple of seconds, a child dies of starvation. And your fat ass is sitting there bitching in the Popeye's Louisiana kitchen that you have to wait seven minutes for a pie. The fuck is wrong with you? Well, you're, you're basically you're everything that's wrong with America. Do you realize that? You fucking Trump-supporting apple pie-guzzling piece of shit. All right? Get off the phone. Fo- there she goes. She's gone. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when... When, when the crux of the complaint is I had to wait seven minutes for an apple pie, you can get fucked. Honestly. Yeah, I was just going to give them the serial death tolls, but it's the same thing. Seven minutes for a fresh apple pie. Oh, apparently she was Canadian. <laughs> Fuck if I know. Well, all right, so well, same thing applies. Same thing applies, you know. You're right next to each other. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, bunch of people trying to call. I've had to turn off the hang-up sound because otherwise it goes ching, ching, ching all the way through the calls. We'll just go on with the new ones. If someone calls in, they'll just have to be lucky and call at the right time. Got so many complainers here, we don't even, we never need to be calling them back. Oh, I may have done this one. This is the one whose daughter worked to the Little Caesars. <laughs> okay, I've got I've got a good one coming up. Right, this is perfect for the soundboard and for just random sound effects. I'll tell you why in a minute. We've done like one like this before. Hulk, crush you, you weak! Calm down, Hulk. Reach the voicemail box of nine. No, okay. Um, this one we're going to do. Uh, this person's got a problem with their phone line. Sometimes it has no dial tone. Sometimes they've got a lot of bad noise and crackle on the line. So we're going <laughs> to call and, I don't know, make crazy noises. Blame the phone line. Or if- reach the jitterbug voicemail oh. for nine zero. Oh, of course. You've reached the jitterbug bo- Alright, so we're not doing that one. Uh, you deleted my car I put on Let Go. I put a 1923 Red Ford T bucket on Let Go. And you deleted it. They deleted it. the car. That's what I, yeah, the way he phrases it, it's like the whole car disappeared. Damn it, Let Go. You deleted a classic Ford T bucket, apparently. Oh, who's trying to call anonymously now? Let's see. Corporate office, this is Ron. How may I service your needs today? Oh, they hung up. That's probably a cop fucking around. They always do that, and then they call right back. Thing is, when cops call, they don't expect you to pick up, so they're not ready. They've usually got you on speakerphone or something, so they hang up, and then they call right back. No, or maybe not. Okay, well, I'll try the number again, and then we'll see if they call back. So this is the let go guy. I know, right, is it all? Dun dun dun. Hello. Hello, this is Ron calling from the corporate office with Let Go. Oh, okay. I'm just responding in, uh, just uh, responding to an email you sent with a request for a callback. Just wondering if I can help at all. 
okay. God, I've had my husband in sur surgery and everything since then. Uh, do, oh, I'm okay. sorry to hear that. This is a prank phone call. Bye. <laughs> 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 so, it was so quick on that now, right? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a prank call, bye. <laughs> Alright, Outback Steakhouse. Not happy with the food. That's more like it. This can't possibly go wrong. I need another person who's having surgery. Come on. This can't possibly end horribly. My, my son have reached the voicemail box of... Arthur. At the tone, please record your voice message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up or press pound for more options. Good afternoon, sir. Ron calling from the corporate office with Outback Steakhouse. Just returning your email. If you'd like to give me a call back, this is my direct line number. I'll be here for the next 16.3 minutes. Thanks and have a great day. <laughs> you have 16.3 minutes to call. I'm getting more specific every time with how long they've got to call back. They never even listen to the whole even message. seconds next time. This is another Outback Steakhouse complaint. Could be the same one. Oh, this person ordered coconut shrimp. Oh, I've oh good afternoon, ma'am. This is Ron with Outback Steakhouse. What, Neil? This is Ron with Outback Steakhouse. Just returning your email. Um, so what do you want? What do you mean returning my email? The email that I wrote? Telephone. Oh, okay, clearly I'm dealing with some kind of super genius here. You sent us an email requesting that we call you, and now I'm calling you. Do you remember? I don't appreciate what you just said. What do you mean, ma'am? What did I say? A super genius. Yeah. Uh, you, you seem to be struggling with I, the concept of a telephone call, and I was just trying to help you along there, Professor. So, yes. what can we do to help? Nothing. I, mean, I just won't participate and go to your restaurant. All right. Well, you, be yeah, you, better, not, you better not come back to the Outback Steakhouse, all right? I bet. Let me show sure your face in here again with your coconut shrimp <laughs> bullshit. Go on. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> 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 That's another satisfied customer. I get so annoyed where they just they can't even grasp the concept of what's happening. You're calling me. I sent an email. <sighs> like five minutes of it, you know. All right, where are we? Back to the list. Who's tagging me in the Discord? Who is that? <laughs> have, a, have a great day. I love it. All right, okay. Back to the main machine. Let's see what's going on over here. Uh, that's not a phone number. Uh... AT and T. I have called on this landline for a couple of years. Check the records. Same complaint. Cuts off. Voices are quivering. Cannot be heard. Talk to agent today. <coughs> Voices are quivering. Right. <laughs> this is brilliant. I'm gonna do. We're gonna do some weird shit to her. Hello. 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 Yes. Definitely something wrong with the phone here. Hello? Good afternoon, ma'am. This is uh, Ron Blackman. Uh, hello? Whoa. Hello? <laughs> hello? <laughs> oh, oh, God. I'm sorry, you go You're in danger of dying. Are you okay there, ma'am? Do you have any medical problems we should know about? Ma'am? Ma oh god, she's dead. <laughs> we didn't even do anything. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that wasn't us. That wasn't us that killed her. She was already dying when we got on the phone. You heard it. Yeah. Probably a smoker, right, Matt92? Probably a smoker. That would explain it. 
Hello. Mom, are you okay? Who's this? Oh, it's okay. I have another call coming in. This was a prank anyway. Bye. Oh. Corporate office, this is Ron. How may I service your needs today? Hello? Some dickhead being silent. Yeah, I got a feeling she was about to tell us she's hacking up a lung or something. I don't want to hear it, you know? Let's just oh. move on. We have a serious problem over at Havenbrook Homes. Requires our immediate attention. <laughs> we should set up an automated system. We'll just assume that last lady lived happily ever after. Everything's going to be fine there. Oh, someone else is calling. God damn it. <clears throat> Corporate office, this is Ron. How may I service your needs today? Yes, my name is Lonnie Tweet. Are you the gentleman who <laughs> called and talked to my wife just a few minutes ago about her uh, out I, back? Are you them boys who've been whacking off in my tool shed? Do what? Bobby, <laughs> that boy ain't right. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sir. What did you say? <laughs> what, what were you saying? I just a What is it? What is it? What was his name? Mr. Well, Anderson. When you get through with your foolishness, I'll talk to you. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. I'll compose myself, sir. Hey, I'm sorry. I think you're just going to record phone number to Outback. Hello? Hello? I'm sorry. You called me. Your, your, your husband called no, me, ma'am. I did. We didn't call you. fucking you did. Called. My phone just rang, you fucking liar. Oh, my word. Yeah. What did he say? <laughs> 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 Hello? Oh, they're still there. Yeah, I'm, st I'm still here listening to you. <laughs> what do you want? Well, I don't want a damn thing from you, fella. Well, why'd you call here then? Well, I had a complaint or something to try to straighten something out. But then you, you <laughs> talk to my wife like a nigger. And oh, I whoa, 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 it. whoa. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Did you just call me the N word? Well, I don't know what color you are. Well, that's fucking racist. Well, that's I disgusting. That's disgusting. You shouldn't say words like that, sir. That's horrible. Don't don't be like that. Yeah. I mean, we'll treat you like a fucked hard moron you are. If you, we, we wouldn't treat you like that, you said. If you drop the end bomb one more time, I'll hand your number over to a bunch of crazy people and you'll never hear the end of it. In fact, you should apologize. No, nope, there he goes. <laughs> I didn't like that. There's, there's so many people trying to call. I'm not joking. Get ready. Okay, it's going to ring again. Yeah, make sure you give me that number. Oh, you want you want racist boy's number, do you? Oh, yeah. I'll replace Dalton's number with that. Oh, God, I've got to remember which one it was. Oh, there it is. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me give you this quickly before I lose it. I just lost it when he called. <laughs> Did you call my wife? <laughs> that boy ain't right. <laughs> that is the number, I believe. You're going to have to Google it. Outback Steak. Nice. It was one of the Outback Steakhouses. Um, he's got a funny name as well. He's cool. named, his name's Lonnie Thwatt or something. I'm just going to call him Hank Hill. Hank Hill. Thomas Anderson was the guy from the... Oh, here we, here we go. Corporate office, this is Ron. How may I service your needs today? Yes, hello? That's oh, a fucking other idiot. Just calling and hanging up. Hmm. I'm telling you, it's cops fishing. That's what we do. Fuckers. All right, what's going on here? All right, so we were back to... If we don't get any more fucking interruptions. Uh, voices quivering on the phone. Was that, old, was that that old lady that was hacking up a lung? It was, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we'll skip that. Um, Havenbrook Homes. We have been here in 85 degree heat inside this house for over a month and no resolve. All right, well, you have to lose some weight and then it wouldn't be so uncomfortable. That's clearly the issue here. Mm. Thanks for the link, Brent. Macronshow.com forward slash donate.
Oh, down south is blowing up the cockroach people. Oh, hello. Hello? Hello, sir. This is Ron at Havenbrook Homes. Okay. I'm just calling about the air conditioning. I understand you still don't have a fully working air conditioner. Uh, that's correct. We don't. Great. Um, our engineers are going to be there. Um, in the next, uh, it will be in the next six to 12 weeks. I don't have a specific date yet. Um, it'll okay. probably be closer to 12 weeks. Um, and they're going to do the initial work. So the initial cabling that's required to fix the system. And, uh, they should be putting in the final cooling system by October. By September? No, October. Okay, yeah, cause you know, cause yeah, it's been being eighty, almost ninety degrees up in there every day. Yes, yeah, I, I understand it is very hot there, but yeah, the 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 actual air conditioning unit itself is due to be delivered to us on the on or around the thirty fourth of October. And it, and it's okay, well, okay, well, I make note of that, but they need they need to understand. I I want I, I want them to. Uh, uh, you know, they 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 could email me and let me know. Uh, you know, uh, you know what kind of uh, how we well, gonna what, do this. What though. what we can do? Yeah, yeah. Just to answer that, what we can do? Um, we we are allowed to issue compensation and, and other solutions. Um, it does depend on certain factors. Um, who do you have living at the property? Is it just yourself? Um, do you have your wife there? Yeah. 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 Okay. Sometimes, you know, sometimes, you know, I have sons and... Okay, can I ask, can I, can I ask how much your wife weighs? How much? How, how much what? How much she weighs, approximately. I don't know. I mean, I don't know that right offhand. What, 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 what's the reason behind that? Oh, uh, it, it's just that in special... So we, we may be able to offer special solutions to certain people. I just need to know that information. Uh, how much roughly would you say she weighs? Is she a larger lady? Yeah, she's not. She's not real small. No, she's not no small individual. No. Uh, I understand. So she's probably suffering with the heat, right? Big um, time. Yes. Great. Because we what 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 we can do whilst we wait for the new air conditioner to be delivered is we can send a boy over a couple of times a day just to hose her down with a hose pipe. Hose what down? Your wife. Um, so he'll oh, be, he'll, yeah, he'll be over there round about noon tomorrow and he'll just, he'll just give her a good hosing down with the hose pipe and that should keep her cool until the air conditioner arrives. I tell you what, uh -huh. I tell you what, motherfucker come over here talking about hosing somebody down, they're going to get hosed down, all Excuse, right? Excuse, sir, did you just swear at me? Huh? That really is, there's no need to swear at me, sir, I'm trying to help you out here. No, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, if you send somebody over here and talking about holding somebody down, I mean, they're going to get hold down when they get here. Oh, I, That's I, all I'm okay, saying. Okay, I'm sorry if that they causes... They're going to send no threat like... Sir, if that causes... They're going to send no threat if, to me like that. It's not a threat, sir, it's to keep her cool. No, I mean, I mean, here, we got a water hose. I mean, here, I don't need... Well, great, if you've already got a water hose, right then, we'll just send a boy over to hose her down with it. We'll just use your hose. Open the window, <laughs> didn't, perhaps? Didn't like that for some reason. Yeah, I'm pretty sure wherever he lives, I think opening the window probably makes it worse. Oh, right. Just a guess. Uh, where, does, where does he live? Yeah, if he's... Uh, oh, he lives in, lives in Georgia. Is it hot in Georgia? Someone tell me. Or is he lying about the temperature to get a free air conditioner? Oh, shit. Trafex sent a bunch of new ones. Rude worker at Panda Express. I don't know what was wrong with that solution. It'd be quite nice to get hosed down in the summer, you know? I like the way he thought he was going to get some compensation, so he, he basically said she was fat. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, well, she's, she's not small. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Hulk smash! Hawk, stop you! 
Calm down, Holt. Please leave your message for six six. Nope. Six six six. That was the number. <laughs> the Mexicans have turned their phone off. <laughs> I did try and warn them. I did try and stop them getting into this, but you know. Thanks, down south. Leave your nope. All right, fine. Uh, Sherry's Berries. That's the one we did. Yeah, we did that one. Uh, this person's had money taken out of their bank account by Spotify. Gee, I wonder what the fuck happened there. Well, I, I signed up for a free for trial, yeah. Leave your message for Darcy Nelson. Darcy Nelson. Hundred and thirty listeners still, Ray. How about that? Ah, uh, could be better. Yeah, go tell your friends and donate some schmeckles. Like everyone else did. Oh, uh, uh oh, hello. Hello. Hi, good afternoon. This is uh, Ron with uh, the corporate office at Spotify. Oh, yes. I'm just responding to an email you sent in with a complaint. I just wondered how I can help. Um, last month we got charged four times. We only have two accounts. And oh, this okay. month so far, three, uh, three times. Hmm, let me take a look here. <laughs> So I can see that you have two accounts with us. Is that That's right? Is that have. two family members? Um, yes. Well, we tried doing the family plan, but that didn't work, so we just... Yeah, them off. and I see each one has two subscriptions to our unlimited service. Um, no, we don't. <laughs> we so only what, have one. No, what, what that means is that uh, it's so that you can listen to two songs at once. That's why you've been charged twice. Um, no, we don't have that. We no, you, yeah, you, you must have ticked the box or signed up to the uh, double service. So it, it charges you double, but you do have the facility on whatever device you're listening on to hear two songs at the same time. So it's quite useful. Oh. It's quite a good time yeah, saver. Yeah. Um, you know, if I you have don't, no idea what that is. If you don't, yeah, basically, if you don't have a lot of time, you can listen to an album in half the time by listening to two songs at once. Oh, no, we just listen to one song per, per, per phone or right. per car. Right. <laughs> no, I, I understand, but but you signed up for the, the premium double service. Well, we didn't mean to. We had, I mean, I don't know. Oh, dear. Because, yeah, I, I mean, you're, mean you're, you're signed into an 18-month contract on this. What? There's right. no contract with Spotify. Yeah, there is on the double service. There is a contract, a minimum contract. Uh, it's for licensing reasons. It's because you are listening to two songs at once. There are extra licensing costs. Well, how can you listen to two songs at once when I only have one playing at a time? Oh, it's it's very very popular. Um, a lot of a lot of our listeners really like it. It's very popular with the young people. Uh, you know, they don't have a lot of time. Idea. They're always in a hurry, and they like to listen to multiple songs at once. I have no idea what that is, and I have no idea how to do that. So. We we are launching the triple song service over the summer, which you will automatically be signed up for. So you'll be able to listen to what? three songs at once over the summer. I don't want that. I just want to listen to one song. With the, oh, I only do one song per. Right, <laughs> but I mean the the, my phone. the the thing is, starting tomorrow, uh, by default, all your songs will just play two songs at once. Well, my songs will only play one song at, at once. No, it will play. It 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 will be uh it will be playing three two or three songs at once now by default. I don't want that. I only I can only listen to one song at a time. No, you can. No, you can't. No, you can listen to two songs at a time. Well, I know you say I can, but I don't know how to do that. Huh. 
I mean, Wait, it's always it, been from Sudan to guys is one song. I mean, if it would help, I could pass you through to one of our, our technicians in, in technical support, and they could explain to you how to hear the two songs at once. I don't want to do that. I'm all fast. I listen to one song. Well, right. I, I, understand, I understand what you're saying, but the issue is you've signed up now. You're in a contract, so you you may as well have the two songs at once. We don't. We never signed up for that. Oh, we you, signed up. Oh when yes. We tried to yes, get you did. Two no, of us you, on one contract, the family plan, that got messed up, and so it was like a refund, and then you redid something, and we only had one song. You know, yeah, no, what what account. what happened was we noticed the refund going through because I know you complained last time. Um so yeah, so what we did get, what we did was we re reversed we did ma'am, ma'am, you are gonna have to shut up when I'm speaking. Um we excuse did what's me? called a re I'm sorry? I said excuse me. Um what did you do? I'm the customer. You're supposed to be talking you're supposed to be listening to what I'm saying. Well, I'm trying to explain the situation to you, ma'am, and you're being rather stupid. I'm just trying to explain to you why... And you, I'm trying you... to explain the situation to you, and you're being rather stupid. Tell me I'm listening to two songs at one time, which is almost impossible to do. It's not impossible to listen to two songs at the same time, ma'am. You're just, you're just out of touch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just not down with the kids. What the hell? Just say... Uh... Like, there's two audio channels, and one plays for the left ear, and one plays for the right ear. I, I didn't really want to overcomplicate it anymore. I think it's a great idea. You listen to albums in half the time. <laughs> I was going to say, like, one song comes out of each channel or each headphone, but no, that's shit. Both songs come out of both headphones. <coughs> Otherwise, it'd be shit, you know? Or uh, just say it's the same song on both. Trafex has just, just informed right me that one of the Outback Steakhouse customers had three phone numbers. Oh, oh it's the start. Okay. So this is... Uh... <laughs> they ordered a salmon dinner and the beans were not in their bags. <laughs> That's what they said. <laughs> the, the beans were not in our bags. All right, so we we appear to have the driver's phone number and two numbers for the customer. I don't know how we've got the driver's phone number. That's insane. Let me call, see if I can make sense of this. Thank you for the huge donation, John. That's really generous. He says, keep it up, pal. Will do. Please leave your message for two, one. Get out of here. All right, another number for the customer. Same customer. If the customer doesn't pick up, should we just fire the driver? <laughs> yeah, or they don't come back to work anymore. But we'll blame we'll blame the complainer though. Say so they're getting fired, customer. Oh, they just they just hung right up. Well, it looks like the driver's getting fired now. Oh wait, there's a third there's a third number for the holy shit. Third number for the customer, yeah he's right, three numbers. Oh dumbass. Well, yeah, if they don't pick up the third number, this driver's definitely getting fired, so it's on them. It's not me. It's fair enough, right guys. Hulk smash! Hello? Hello? Mr. Robertson? It's Ron at the Outback Steakhouse. Hello? Ray, it sounds like you're jerking off your microphone. What's going on? Sorry, I'm just getting really tired. Aw, oh, you puss. Yeah, I have to go to work tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. Fair enough. It is nearly 1 a.m. So many of these to get through, though, and you know, you know what's going to happen is in Discord, my phone's going to be ringing for the next three hours. Yeah. This always happens when we have a show like this. There's these fuckers just ring and ring. All right. Well, where's this? Uh... Okay. Well, this is this is the driver apparently. So yeah, because the customer didn't answer, I'm now going to sack the driver. 
<laughs> they cut put them beans in that bag. Yeah, that's what we'll tell them. Good afternoon, this is Ron with the corporate office at Outback Steakhouse. Is this Sonia? Yes. Uh, Sonia, just to confirm, you are one of our drivers, is that correct? One of your what? Drivers. Drivers for what? Oh, it says driver here, goddammit, Sonia. Are you not one of our drivers? Your what? Right, you're fired anyway, Sonia, you're fired. All right, this is work calling and you're fired, okay? Who's calling this? Who's this? This is work. I'm calling from work, all right? Yo, what? Oh, God. Bye. <laughs> she, she was completely confused. All right. Um, let's see here. Spotify, we did. All right, that's a scammer number. I'm going to save that. I'll do something else with that. Parts Geek. This person's not happy they did not receive their parts from Parts Geek. By the way, everyone should check out the new YouTube video after the show. I put one of the one of the best calls from the last show on. The woman with gas. Go check it out. It's got lots of views already. I only put it on a few hours ago. So thanks to everyone that's already watched it. Hello? Hey, this is Jeff. Uh, I'm not <laughs> He's called right Jeff. Now, Fuck. He's called Jeff. Ah, uh, shit. It's just about to hit 500 views. That's pretty cool. Apparently, Sherry's berries is gross. I don't even think that's how you spell Sherry's either. That doesn't look right to me. This guy's phone's busy now. What, has he got a landline or something? What year is this? I'll get one more, one more good complaint array and then I'll let you sleep. How about that? I'll let you out your cage. Yeah. Got you on there. So tired. Oh, poor Ray. He's sweepy. Hello? Right Did he say now, Jeff or right Gus? Hmm. On my cell phone. Sound like Jeff. Oh, he's giving his cell phone out. No, I'll call that back later and get that. Uh, this person has a problem with curtains they bought at Costco. That's all I'm really reading, gleaming from that. I'm not reading the whole thing because it's fucking huge. Something about curtains and Costco. What do you mean it's 1.45 p.m. CeeLo? Where are you? You must be in, like, Australia. Hello? Good afternoon, sir. This is Ron calling with the corporate office over at Costco. Oh, yes. I'm um, just responding to an email that you sent recently with a complaint. I uh, just wanted to reach out and right. see if I can help. You guys uh, emailed me back. I'm not sure if this is the contact that I'm supposed to be waiting for yes yeah i was asked just to give you a call but i just need filling in what what's actually been happening well i ordered uh, several curtains through a great i forgot the name is it like graber graber i think it is uh at gaber Bender at costco gaber yeah. yes so so it was about eleven thousand dollars worth of uh, different curtains in different rooms of a brand new house the largest curtain though is a is a what about it's about 12 13 feet tall, and it's about the same width, it's big. And uh, we've always had trouble with that one. I mean, immediately the uh, the cord broke, so they came out and gave me a thicker cord. And uh, it's hard to open, but still, okay, I was living with it. And now, recently, I hired another fella to, to put in a bunch of uh, shutters, and I asked him if he could look at that particular curtain to see if he could... Uh, help it open easier and he looked at it and he told me that because he installs curtains as well and he said that it wasn't installed properly he pointed out to me that the 
the, the, the screws into the wall on one side are already half coming off because they didn't. Oh, no, I know what you're saying, but, you know, these contractors, they always say things like that, you know, they're usually fishing for work. I mean, is it really a problem? He refused to fix it. He refused to fix it. I was willing to pay him. He, he said, no, because I don't want to, I don't want this. He said, have Costco fix it. And also he pointed out. Yeah, I didn't it notice. sounds like he's just trying to make us look bad. You know, it sounds like you were perfectly happy with the curtains until this contractor of yours pointed it out. Well, I wasn't happy with it since the beginning. Hmm. And it's, it, I tell him opening it up and closing it is like pulling in a tuna fish. And, uh, and it is bowed. He showed me that. I could clearly see a bow in the middle. And he said that's the reason there's a hard, uh, it's hard to open and close. Right, yeah, that's probably why you've been pulling too hard on the cord. That can happen. It can can well, warp the actual uh, curtain he, rail. He, he also too... suggested that there's a long rod, I told you, about 12, 15 feet, that it should have an anchor in the middle, not just on the two ends, to... Uh, yeah, we we do recommend that you upgrade to the anchor in the middle. I mean, if you didn't pay for that, then obviously that can lead well, to. I just, they didn't offer it. I just paid what I I want. No, I you want you you should have. You, no, 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 sir. I'm sorry, but how are we to know? Uh, on, you, you know what? Obviously, you don't care. Oh no, absolutely, it. I do so care, sir. I'll, well, I'll go. I mean, I'll go what? Back I, to Costco to come oh well, you know what? Go fuck yourself then. I don't care. Go on, get out. There he goes. <laughs> He's a fucking dick. Wow, what an asshole. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Corporate office. This is Ron. How may I service your needs today? Hi, I was wondering if I can talk to Leo Myers. Uh, yeah, I can see if he's available. Who's calling, please? Um, this is Destiny Bush calling. Okay, can I ask um, what it's regarding? You, you, you spoke to my mother earlier? Um, okay. Possibly wasn't me, but uh, what's the issue? Well, Never mind. Goodbye. All right, so get to fuck then. Go on. <laughs> oh, God. Corporate office, this is Ron. How may I service your needs today? Hello? Oh, here we go. It's the cockroach lady. Go on then. Come on. Fucking enlighten us, Professor. What you got to say now? Hello? Hello, motherfucker. Really? Oh, really? That's the best you can do, is it? Yeah, that's the best I can do. And I'm going to keep on calling you and calling you just like how you calling my mama. Oh, no, that's not me. That's the other people I gave you a number to. I did warn you. Hello, that's why. But thanks for giving me this alternative number as well. I'm going to give them this number too. So now they've got two numbers to call you on. Really? Yeah, they can call me. It's okay. Great. Hold on a minute. Uh, I don't it's okay, they can call me anytime they want. Well, yeah, it sounds like you just gave them permission to call. They fuck I look like. Can I just clarify for the purpose of the recording, you gave my colleagues permission to call you as much as they want? That's all you have to do, huh? No, it's not me. Yeah, I, I, told, said, I, yeah. I told you, there's a whole bunch of people. Well, that's all y'all can do. Can you speak in English, please? Yeah, come on, try and try and phrase that in an English sentence. Nigga, I am well, speaking on English. Oh, don't start dropping the end bombs oh, as well. God geez. damn it, you'll be firing off your AK-47 and drinking 40 ounces next. Listen, listen, Dr. Dre, is there anything that you want before I hang up? Nothing. Right, we'll get to fuck What's then. What is it? I'd recommend an education. Yeah, yeah, go get a fucking dictionary. You do, nigga. You go. All right. By the way, I just you gave. Stop I, saying that. I just, I just gave your other phone number out. So enjoy that, because I'm going to bed soon, and you're going to be getting a lot of fucking calls. Again, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to bed early. Fuck up. Fuck up late. Yeah, I, I, I am going to bed early. You're right. Yeah, it's very early here in uh, wherever I'm calling from. They still send you to bed. They have these things called time zones. You mightn't be aware of it. I don't think they are aware of time zones. Nigga, you're fucking retarded on me, you are. Yes, yeah, I really sound oh. like the retarded one right now. Is that your phone ringing? I can. Is that your phone ringing? I can hear. <laughs> I wonder. Who, I wonder who's calling. Talks like something out of Mad Max. 
<laughs> I know, right? Yeah, so it does sound it's like. Over the fucking... kids at, at the Thunderdome. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Are you are you in the Thunderdome over there, ma'am? Is that what's going on? Do you even do you even do you even get a ref? Is that all you can say? Do you do you have to do you have to drop the N word on me when I'm clearly white? Doesn't make sense. Yep. The N word on you, yup. I don't care. You don't care. Yeah, that's that's okay. pretty apparent. All right. Well, hold on to that carefree attitude when you get your five thousandth call tonight. <laughs> 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 All right. Go on. Fuck off now. I'm bored of you. Go on. Fuck right off. Go on. Hang up. Hang up. Oh, your little friend called me. Your little friend called me. Oh yeah. No, that's yeah. You're gonna be getting a lot of calls. That's not me. That's <laughs> that's many other people well, calling you. Like you. Yeah, no, we're all ugly, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. How many children do you think this person has? I'm uh, betting about eight or nine. Another two on the way. Oh, thank you, Star. That's very kind. Thanks, Star. I suggest you look into family planning. Yeah, for, for God's sake, you know, get sterilized. I thoroughly recommend You don't recommend need any it. more of this fucking horror show. Oh, thanks again, Star. Star's going crazy with the donation oh. with the donations. Yeah, funny. I can call every day to laugh. Oh, you're gonna call me every day, are you? Okay. <sighs> oh God. So why do it to yourself? Video. Why do it to yourself? <coughs> what are you gonna do? You gonna? Are you gonna? You're gonna call me every day and harass me, are you? All right. I'm gonna be talking all that are shit. you going to do the same to the thousands of other people that are going to call you? Are you going to call all yeah, of them as well? I'm going to do the same oh, yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do the same oh, you, en you, en you enjoy that. Hell yeah, bitch. Good luck with that. Oh, I do. Because Chuck you'll be calling random people then. You're going to have to speak up a bit. Your Obama phone doesn't have a very good volume. You're actually going to have to speak into the phone. Quit flapping your arms everywhere. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking doing, talking. Yeah, it's just very hard to understand you. It's a combination of the... Oh, too bad. You need to go fix your ears. Because I don't know. Because you don't know. That, well, that's your answer, is it? Mm. Yeah, so please yeah. follow my advice, you know, with the family planning thing. Oh, great. Unfortunately, because you just threatened me, now they're getting your address. Oh. I again nothing to do with me, but you're making some pretty my horrible address. threats about hey, about harassing me. I'm my quite address. right. I'm quite I'm quite alarmed actually. Man, tell him to pull up. Tell him to pull up. Oh, God. oh here we go. Tell him to my address you got it. Tell him. Pull up at my address for some interracial violence. You sound like a real pillar of the community over there. I'm scared and shit because y'all think I'm pretty I don't think you're scared. No one's trying to scare you, stupid. But I look like you're the one scared. you're the one that called you called me making threats. I'm just sitting here listening. Nah, cause y'all over here talking about it. Oh, I'm gonna put Can you speak in English, please? please? I can't understand a fucking word you're saying. Quite quite honestly, right? I, I saw a YouTube video where this guy tried to teach his cat to talk and it made a lot more sense than you're making right now. <laughs> I you can't understand those, you ever what heard those, they're saying. Oh, I like, you ever seen those people that have tried to teach their dog to talk and the dog's like... <laughs> literally makes more sense than you. You're fucking retarded. No. Good answer. Good answer. No, how, like, you say, how you say that is, you people are all stupid. Yeah. Like that, that would be, you know... Nah, first of all, y'all need to clean your little restaurant. You don't start a sentence with nah. Yeah, nah does you're not go at the dog. start of a sentence. You know, you, what, what you people are doing here is you're just you're adding words to sentences because it makes you feel smarter. Is that even a word? I don't think that's even a word. Y'all. No, it's not. It is. No. Me it is. no. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. If yes, you, it is. I just <laughs> you, if, you, if you'd ever opened a dictionary, you would know that. 
Well, you're the only one that looked at the dictionary because I know them. Yeah, well. you don't start a sentence. Yeah, no, that's well. right. I'm the only I'm the only one that's read the dictionary. No, you're right. You're right. The dictionary was written specifically for me. Everyone else is. Oh, someone else is calling. Fuck off. Corporate office. This is Ron. How may I service your needs today? Uh, is this uh, the hotwire service? The hotline service. You're going to be hot. Hotwire. Hotwire. Yes, it is. How can I help? Yes. Yeah. Can I speak to a supervisor, please? Uh, you can speak to a supervisor. May I ask what it's regarding? Uh, yes, it's regarding a complaint. Um, oh. My fiance. Uh, yeah, my fiance. I just happen to be a lawyer, so I'll just let you know this is recorded. Oh, you're a lawyer. Uh, my fiance. Okay. My my. Uh, fiance well, you didn't get consent. You didn't. You didn't get consent to record my voice. I'm in a two-party consent state, so you don't just get to tell me that you're recording. You need to ask for my consent. Okay. If you were a lawyer, okay, you'd know that. I'm... You know, any lawyer worth his salt would be aware of that. Okay, well then I'll cancel that part of it. But my can you stop the can you, can I confirm that you've stopped the recording, please? Yes, confirmed. I have stopped the recording. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so my fiance called up there because she had filed a claim. Oh, your fiance was a fucking bitch. You know that. Excuse me. You heard. I'm gonna show up at that fucking office and I'm gonna get your name. Oh, no, 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 come down here. Come down. Come down to the office. Come on. Come on down. No problem. I'll take care of it. Fucking cunt. <laughs> that was the word I was going to use. I made, him cunts. I made him turn off the recording and then call his fiance a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the other donations, Star. Star's gone crazy with donations. Booey. She said, here's the meat wagon. The other and end. she donated loads of schmeckles. Aww. Thanks, Star. Oh, Milkman. Milkman made a donation, too. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Milkman. I miss hearing you on that radio show that you used to be on. That one that used to be on that, with that, you know. I don't remember it. All right, well, unless any other cunt calls, I think we're done, Ray. I think you're off duty, you uh. know? Yeah. Yay. Unless unless you feel like making me do one more, I got a feeling the fucking phone's gonna ring. The, the last time we had a show with this many pickups, it, it went on all night. Oh, uh, go on. You want go one? On, one you more. Want one? You want it? You want it, big boy? All right. Well, here we go. Uh, Jim Rodriguez has a problem with. Uh, oh no, that's that company I couldn't work out to pronounce. Someone told me earlier, and I've forgotten. Does does n dozen does dozen. Someone tell me how to say it again quick, because I'm dialing it. Dialing without the care in the world. Oh, I'm calling from the company, sir. So, right. There you go. I have to explain myself to you. Got some nice music to close the show Hello. off. Good afternoon, ma'am. Ron calling from Dazen. From who? Uh, Dozen, the corporate office. Uh, you made a complaint recently. Uh, I think it was Jim, actually, now, that made the complaint. take me off your list. Because Can I speak to Jim? He made a complaint and asked for a call back, you stupid woman. Does he know you answer his phone like this? You're stupid, Go you get idiot. the man, honey. Go get the fucking man. Don't talk to me like that. Go and get Jim. All right. Does he, does he know you're mouthing yeah, off? Yeah, he's a stupid woman. He's an idiot. Yeah, go get the man. Go on. Yeah. Does he know you answer his phone like this? Hey, you motherfucker. Don't you call me a motherfucker. How dare you, sir? I'm calling you a motherfucker, sir, son of a bitch. Uh, your, your wife was bang out of line, all right? I had to put her in check, something you should have done years ago. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Call back a few times, please. Hey, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, he's still there. Hold on, he picked up again. Jim? Jim, your wife's lying. I never called her a bitch. Jim? <laughs> Fucking... Jim, your wife is a cunt. Yeah. The fuck she thinks she is picking up his phone like that, you know? Thanks for all. It's going to take me so long to thank all the donations people tonight. Thank you, guys. Thanks, John. And Milkman and Star. Hello there, sir. I think the line got disconnected. It's possible your wife was being a bitch and hung up. Can you hear me now? I can hear you good, motherfucker. Now, don't call my wife any names. Stop name. calling me a motherfucker, sir. I'm English. Your I wife was a cunt, sir. Yeah, your wife was a real cunt. You know that, sir. I just called to try and help with your complaint. <laughs> 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 there he goes. Keep doing this. Keep
keep doing it. <laughs> She was a cunt. Ah, God damn it, he's got a fax machine. I don't mind. Should we fax him? <laughs> keep keep redialing it. Oh, now it's busy. He's probably calling back. Oh, no, his fax machine. <laughs> his fax machine's probably locking up the line. There we go. You're right, Cactus Rider. If she could be less cunty, we wouldn't be in this situation. I've already reported this to the police. You've already reported it to the police. It was like five seconds since I last called. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. What this is, is going it? the direction I want. Alright. I already called the police. Like, I'm gonna believe that. It's fa it's. Ow. Fucking fax machine. If he's not careful, he's gonna get faxes. him about his wife. <laughs> Just fax him, tell that wife in the background to shut the fuck up, so. Hello, we are not available now. Ah. I think they're done. Is that it then? Thanks for the thanks for another donation, John. Hello, oh, hello, sir. Sir, can I speak to the cunt of a wife you have? No, hold on, hold on, sir. So, look, I think we got off on the wrong foot. If your wife could just stop being a cunt, we can maybe resolve this. God, he is so pussy whipped. No, I think we're I think we're done. Are we wrapping things up Yay. there, Ray? Is that is that finally it? Uh, you can go on and do more calls. I'm going to bed. No, I'm I'm good. We'll 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 call the rest on another show very soon. We have a lot to get through. I mean, we didn't we didn't even touch the bottom. We didn't even get anywhere near it. Wow, I didn't even look at the list. Yeah, the 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 list is huge. Oh. All nice. right. Oh, it's only one o'clock, and I'm killed. Yeah, no, we'll just we'll just come back and do more of this later. As long as all these assholes yeah, anytime. donate, you know, make them donate some schmeckles. All mm. right. The best call of the night for me was the one with the the one's daughter. Remember, <laughs> she fucked everyone in the. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, your daughter fucked everyone in the furniture store. <laughs> <laughs> That was a that, that was, has to go on YouTube. I was, was dying laughing about that. That was a good one. Yeah, they they were not happy about that. <laughs> they just gave right. us the information we needed. So before I forget, I don't think anyone donated on GoFundMe tonight. I mean, I'm not complaining, but poor old GoFundMe guys. GoFundMe.com/slash prank call station. Everyone use PayPal or YouTube. Yeah, crazy bribes. Yeah, only Johnny Boy donated four days ago. On the old GoFundMe.com slash prank call station. Someone should fix that. All right, on uh, PayPal. I don't always start with PayPal, but a few people donated on here. Miguel, Avaz, and Aaron. I think that was it on PayPal. Wow. Let me check. I know, right? Yeah, I'm just scrolling up. I wasn't even looking. Yeah, Aaron, Avaz, and Miguel. Thank you guys. And then, all right, here we go on YouTube. Holy fuck. Oh. Rocky, Ralgondo, yeah. Cody, Grunspur, Smurf, Mike B, John UK Harvey, Star, 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 Milkman, John, and John again. Wow. Yeah, definitely need another show for that. I know. So many more to do. Shout out to Inked Goddess. Um, shout out to Jeremy as well. They're both busy having lives, you know, um, but we may do something over the weekend. In fact, we probably will do something over the weekend. 
Um, I think Jeremy is going to be back over the weekend. I know, uh, yeah. Everyone get your asses on YouTube and go like and share and all that shit on the, uh, on the new video. That helps me out a lot. Try and get to a thousand views in well under 24 hours, that'd be good. Thanks, Matt92. Any messages from you, Ray? Uh, bye. I'm going to bed. Night, Ray. See you tomorrow. Are you doing calls in Discord tomorrow? Probably, yeah. We'll see. Macronshow.com slash Discord. Ray just promised a 12-hour show while he's at work. <laughs> see if anyone else joined. Oh, someone else joined. Welcome, Mike Fox. You are added. Macronshow.com slash Discord. Come hang out. John, macronshow.com forward slash Discord. Just get in there. Get your ass in there. And uh, macronshow.com slash donate. Uh, yes, I will get the show uploaded to the podcast tonight. I don't really think of a name for it. Give me some show names while this song finishes. Because I have no idea. Oh, Star's going to send me a fax. Thanks, Star. Star has the sexiest voice in the world, other than mine. So if you come in Discord, you might hear it. It's a true story. Alright, love you guys. Macronshow.com. Good night, Ray. Oh, Ray already left. I was just in the call on my own. Alright. Macronshow.com. Go to sleep. Good night.